Oops, 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 oops. What are you doing, Cody? I'm practicing for when I beat Mikey up today. You're really gonna beat up a five-year-old in kindergarten? Yeah, he's not gonna be such a bad kid once I kick his ass. See, that's what kids need these days. Good old ass whooping. Open up a can of whoop ass. Your glove fell off, Cody. I know, I'll get it. Okay, well, I just think it's weird that you're 16 years old and you're gonna beat up a five-year-old. Dude, he's four, remember? Oh, yeah, you're four years old. Yeah, he's actually older than me, so, so it's fine if I kick his ass. It's fine. Bear, bear, bear. Telescope tiger. I got a big purple crown cause I'm the purple. I play with my stickers. I got stickers on my fins. Give me your stickers. No, they're my stickers. Ah. Yeah. Ready, who play you? Where do you take off? Hey, Mikey. Hey, don't touch my airport. I don't want to touch your shitty airport. Actually, that's a pretty sick airport. Yeah, I got four different color planes. Red, blue, green, and yellow. Yeah, those are four colors. Yeah, so don't touch my airport. It's been very busy today. It's been a lot of delays. Well, there's about to be a lot more delays. Why? How are they going to fly without a control tower? Hey! Yeah, that's what happens, Mikey. That's what happens. Hey, don't do that! Yeah, you fuck with the fuck. Hey, hey, stop! Hey, stop! Hey, Yeah, my mom was very upset with my behavior. You know my dad got the note you wrote because you got in his car again last night! Shut up, Mikey! But you did! He gave you 50 bucks! What were you selling? Mikey, shut up or you're going in timeout! Mikey, you are making me feel very angry! Which brings me to today's lesson class. Today is Feelings Friday, and we're going to talk about our feelings. Sometimes you can feel mad, like I am at Mikey right now. Sometimes you can feel sick, like I was this morning. I've been throwing up a lot for some reason. But sometimes you can also feel in love. You're in love with my dad. You know he doesn't love you, right? That's why he hits you. He doesn't love me either, because he hits me too. Mikey, you you're making me feel sad, and I would like to feel happy for once! Oh, oh I feel like I'm gonna throw up again! <laughs> Alright class, today we're gonna go around one by one and talk about how we feel today! <laughs> Daryl, you first! <laughs> I'm feeling pretty mad at Mikey. I want to beat his ass. But I really want to do a Dragon City ad first. Can I please be excused? Yes, Cody, but hurry up. Thanks, Teach. It'll only be a minute. Hey, Dragon Masters. We're back with another video sponsored by Dragon City. And this time, we have a very exciting announcement for all SML fans. Dragon City has added a free exclusive SML decoration now available in-game. That's right. Your very own piece of the SML universe just waiting to be planted right in the heart of your Dragon Empire. There's so much to do in this game. Dragon City is a whole kingdom of over 1,000 unique dragons waiting for you to collect, hatch, and evolve them. From fire-breathing giants, all the way to mystical creatures inspired by some of your favorite YouTubers. With over 450 million installs, joining this adventure means being part of a growing community where you can team up in alliances and unlock exclusive rewards together. Or, you can head into PvP battles to prove your strength and climb the leaderboard. It's a world where every Dragon Master plays a part in a larger story. So if you're not part of this Dragon Dynasty yet, now's the perfect time. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to jump in. You'll get the exclusive Exclusive SML decoration for your city, plus 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic OV dragon to kickstart your journey. But hurry, it's a limited time offer, so grab it while you can, and we'll see you in game. <sighs> okay, I'm back. <coughs> <laughs> that was very nice, Cody. Now, kids, I'm going to go to the bathroom and take a test. You guys play your games and try to think about how you're feeling. Wow, Mrs. Fitzpatrick is really sick. She must have cooties for my dad. Yeah, I think she's taking a pregnancy test. What's that? It's the thing that you put under your tongue and it tells you how hot you are. That's a thermometer, Freddy. But now that the teacher's out of the room, I'm going to kick your ass, Mikey. Why? Because you got us in trouble and the teacher wrote a note home to my mom. But guess what, Mikey? I didn't give my mom that note. Ooh, I'm gonna tell Miss Fitzpatrick. Well, how are you gonna tell her anything with a broken lip? What? Yeah, 
That's right, stay down, Mikey, you pussy. Yeah, does anybody else want some? Who do you think you are? I am. Cody! Cody! Yeah. Cody. Yeah, I wanted to go just like that. Hey, Mikey, I'm gonna kick your ass. What? <clears throat> yeah, how you like that? <laughs> ow! Ow! Oh, God, he's by my ear! He's by my ear! Freddy, get him the fuck off me! Oh, God, it hurts! It hurts! Somebody help me! Uh, 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 oh, he bit my fucking ear off! Yeah, get All right, class, I have to wait 15 minutes to see if this test is negative, which hopefully it is. His name is Mikey Tyson and he bit my ear off like Mike Tyson? I'm calling the principal right now! Wait, where's my ear? Has anybody seen my ear? It's right over here! Quick, put it on ice! Alright everybody, shut up! It's me, your principal, Mr. Steinbeck! <laughs> and your teacher right here, Mrs. Dixpatrick. Ooh, yeah, she told me there was a little bit of a tussle in here. Over there! Over there? Okay. <laughs> Okay. I heard you two have a problem with fighting in class. He bit my ear off. Well, look, rub some dirt in it. This is kindergarten. Life gets a lot harder than this. He, he punched me in the face first. Look, I'll punch the both of you in the face if Miss Thick Patrick over there tell me about you two fighting that class again. Okay. You got me? Yes. that, yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> and I'm going to keep your ear. But why? Because I like it. It's cool. <laughs> and let me address the class. All right, everybody, shut up. Mrs. Fitzpatrick over here walks in my class every single day and tells me this. Oh, my class is horrible. My students are from hell. Who birthed these demons? If I had a time machine, I would go back in time and murder every single parent so they couldn't even reproduce. Oh, these are the things I hear. Man, and Mrs. Fitzpatrick, she got an ass on her. Woohoo! Man, talk about a wagon and that ass is dragging. It should be illegal in all 50 states, honestly, even in Canada. <laughs> but uh, that's besides the point. <sighs> Look, if you little hell spawns make another ruckus in this class, do anything, fight, ah, break something, I don't care. I swear to God, there will be a mass murder. Uh, I mean, someone will, be, someone will be expelled. A lot of people will be expelled. <laughs> my bad about that. Uh, so, uh, how's my son Daryl? Well, he loves his bear. Bear, 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 bear. Can we try to get him to learn a different animal? Well, he screams every time. Let me talk to him. Bear, 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 bear. Hey, there, old son, buddy. Uh, how about we try a different animal, like the giraffe? No! Don't do it! Don't fucking do it! It's my son! I know how to talk to my son! Bear, Look, bear, how about we try the giraffe? Bear, 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 bear. Oh, call them! Bear, 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 bear. See, see? Bear. Oh, fuck it, you win. Oh. He really likes that damn beer. It haunts my dreams. <sighs> Just don't make him mad, ever, or you're fired. I know. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> it's positive. <laughs> hey, class, your teacher? She's sad. <laughs> Principal Steinbeck out! Wait, wait. Mrs. Fitzpatrick, if you ever need some extra cash, bring that ass this way. <laughs> Mrs. Yeah, I want to change my answer. I'm not keeping it. Uh, Mikey, no, uh, I'm texting your father right now. I mean, yes, Mikey, go ahead and tell us how you feel. <laughs> the medicine I'm on makes me not feel anything. I am in so much pain. I am missing my fucking ear. Very good. Freddy, how about you? I feel stinky because I pooped in my pull-ups when you point the ball with yelling. That's very nice. Clarissa, you gotta keep the baby. No, I don't, Randy. What about all that good loving I've been giving you? It wasn't love, Randy. It was a service. Ooh, look at that tall glass of water. And I am thirsty. <laughs> Randy, I told you not to come to my place of work. You embarrassing me? Yes. Hey, Dad! That's my dad, guys! Mikey, shut up before I slap the shit out of you! He's the worst child I've ever had the displeasure of teaching. Well, we can raise one together. I'm not keeping it, Randy! Yes, the hell you is! Last time I saw my dad this mad, he killed my mom and my unborn brother. Uh, I, I know you guys are having relationship problems, but I'm actively bleeding over here. The principal stole my ear. Can I please go home? Why you ain't want to kid with me? Where do I start, Randy? You're a bum! Yeah, you got a bum. Look at that dumpy. Oh! Randy, you don't even 
even have a real job. Oh yeah, what about my SoundCloud that I get 32 listens to on? That's one for each day of the month. That's not a real job, Randy, and there's 30 days in a month, sometimes 31. And sometimes there's 33, depending on the year. That's not what a leap year is, Randy! Oh yeah, well my career's about to leap this year, yes sir. On the 4th of Neverwary. Please, can I go to the nurse? I'm losing so much blood. Listen, Randy, can we talk about this later? You gonna take me to McDonald's? <sighs> sure. You gonna get me a 20-piece with the sweet and sour sauce? Sure. In your nice-ass car? Fella, she got a nice-ass car now. A 2006 Buick LeSabre. Yes, sir! That shit so clean it looks like it just came right off the lot. I don't care. I am in so much pain. Randy, if you leave right now, we can do the thing we did the other night. Okay! <laughs> Class, I'm so... So sorry. Bye, Dad! That's my dad. So you've said, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I'm missing my ear. Can I please go to the nurse? Not right now, Cody. Maybe in a little bit. In a little bit? Am I going insane? Why is nobody helping me? Hey there, Miss Fitzpatrick. I'm here to do that procedure. Let's get that thing out of there. Oh, good, a doctor. Doctor, please help me, I'm missing my ear. Just a second, kid, I gotta do this procedure first. Just a second? Are you kidding me? My ear is gone! All right, open up. Wait, right here? Well, yeah, you want it done, right? I guess. Okay, I just gotta numb it first. Num, 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 num. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, though, this, this thing does have teeth. Uh, class, um, I'm feeling a little scared. How about everyone goes home for today? Thank God, I'm out of here. Uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, can you give me a ride home? My dad already left. Nom, 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 nom. No, Mikey! Wait, hold on. Where's my little shark thing? Oh, there it is. I wonder if Cody won his fight. Yeah, yeah, well, God. Cody, what happened to you? Mikey bit my ear off. Wait, like Mike Tyson? Exactly like Mike Tyson. Oh, shit. Mikey Tyson? That's literally his name. No way. Yes way. He bit my ear off and the principal stole it. What, the principal took your ear? Yeah. Well, why are you here? You need to go to a hospital. I know. I just wanted to tell you guys how my day was. I, I'm, I'm going. That... That's, that can't be right. Talk about a bad day, dude. Yeah, I know. Kindergarten must be really tough. Thank you again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description for your special SML decoration and a bundle of rewards. Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, just like this Roblox one you see on your screen right now. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. What? You can get a lot of momentum in this bitch. <laughs> no! Yeah, you really can. Oh, oh, oh damn it! Damn it! I got hit in the face by ball. Okay, guys, are you ready to play with my new Robo Rage toy? Oh, cool, Bish versus Bosh. Oh, dude, I want to be Chris Bosh. And I want to be Bish, because I'm 100% that Bish. I want to play with your new robot toy. So let's open it and play with it. I go first. No, dude, I want to go first. No, I want to go first. Guys, it's my choice, so I get to go first. No, it's, I, 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 I get to go first. I get to go first. Okay, guys, listen. We need to buy two more of these robots so we all can play. All right, let's buy two more. But this is a $100 toy, Jeffy. We don't have $100. Well, maybe we could raise money. Like, we could do a car wash or something. Like, I could take my shirt off and wash cars. Well, honestly, I just want an excuse to take my shirt off. Yeah, guys, we could wash cars and raise the money, and then we could all play with the robots. So, look, let's go wash some cars, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, time to get Marvin's house paid. Hey, Nanny, can I go outside and wash cars with my friends? No! Why? 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 I don't get it! Why? Man, come on, let Jimmy go outside and do a job. But, baby, he's going to be touching other people's cars, and he might damage them, and then it'll be my problem. But, Marvin, you're not going to give him money, so let him go work for it. Yeah, Nanny, I'm a working man. Okay, fine, Jeffy, you can go wash cars, but if you damage anyone's car, it's your responsibility. I don't know what responsibility means, but I got it, Daddy. Oh, this is a bad idea. Who's at the door? Hello? Hey Marvin, I'm here for your house payment. Oh, Goodman, uh, well, you see, I don't have my house payment this month. You know what this is, Marvin? A banana? Mm-hmm. Why, why, why are you peeling a banana? Because this banana represents your wiener. And if you don't have your house payment by the end of the day today, this is what I'm gonna do to your wiener. What? I'm gonna cut it off, Marvin. I'm gonna cut off your wiener. Oh, okay, okay, look, I will get the house payment by the end of the day. Well, now I'm gonna come inside and use your bathroom and clog your toilet. What the, don't do, oh. 
Oh, guys, look, a Lamborghini. Let's wash this car. But, Junior, this guy didn't ask us to clean his car. I know, Cody, but if we wash it and do a really good job, the guy will come out and go, damn, you cleaned my car really good. Here's a thousand bucks. Junior, I don't think forcing people to pay us for stuff they didn't ask for is a really great business model. Cody, just shut up and wash the car and look sexy. Okay, that I can do. Junior, I don't have a sponge. Um, well, go find one. All okay. right. I think they grow in the grass or something. Now, where can I find a sponge at? Oh, that looks like a sponge. Don't forget to wash the grill, Cody. Okay. I'm gonna check on Jeffy and see how he's doing. Ah! Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm doing great, Junior. I'm washing it so good that the paint's coming off. What? Squeaky clean. That's a brick. House. You know, like the song? She's a brick house. What? Jeffy, you can't wash it with a brick. Stop it. Cody, come here. What's wrong, Junior? Look! Whoa, well, that, that, that is a problem. How'd that even happen? This is the only sponge that I could find. You used a brick? House. And we damaged the car, Cody! Junior, the guy's not gonna pay us $1,000 for this. So what do we do? Oh, okay, I have an idea. I say we get out of here. <laughs> Cody, come back! Do I keep washing it or not? No, Jeffy, we have to go. Come on! Oh, Marvin, I clogged your toilet bad. Here, smell my fingers. Oh, God, oh, why does it smell like that? Because when I was wiping, my finger broke through the toilet paper and went in my ass crack. So that's what you just smelled. Oh, why didn't you wash your hands? Because you don't have any soap. So maybe tonight after you give me your house payment, you invest in some soap. Oh, okay, just, uh, I know, just come back later. All right, I'll be back tonight. And if you don't have your house payment, you know what will happen to your banana. What about bananas? L listen, baby, you don't want to know. What the hell? Why is there soap on my car? Did someone try washing my car and they didn't even finish? What the fuck? Did someone try washing my car with a brick? Marvin! Daddy, washing cars is hard. Why? What happened? Because there's so many different types of sponges, I don't know which one to use. I get confused. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. Hello? You pull your pants down! It's coming off! Well, you said I had to the end of the day! Not anymore! Not after what you did to my car! What did I do to your car? Come here! This! Well, I didn't do that! I know you didn't do it, but your son did! How do you know he did it? Because he left me a bill. Car wash bill, $1,000 owed to Jeffy. Well, I, I, it wasn't me who did it. it was I don't the... give a fuck. You gotta get me your house payment and the money to fix my car by the end of the day, or you know what happened to the banana. Oh, oh, oh okay, I'll try it. Jeffy! Jeffy! You damaged Gubbins' car by washing it? Mm -hmm. Well, why would you do that, Jeffy? Ah! What? No, Jeffy, why did you do that? Dang, I told you, sponges are hard. No, they're not hard, Jeffy. They're supposed to be soft and squishy, and they, and they wash things. Well, how was I supposed to know that? Jeffy, you owe me $5,000 by tonight, or get out of the house. Marvin, that's not a realistic amount of money Jeffy can get to you by tonight. Oh, Mommy, I understand. I screwed up big time. Yes, you did, Mr. Dad. You go get me that money now. All right, Daddy, I'll get you that money, even if I have to swing leg. Go! Well, washing cars was a bad idea. I can't believe Jeffy used a brick. Wait, Jeffy used a brick? Wait, Joseph, why weren't you outside washing cars with us? Because I don't do manual labor, dude. My people suffered enough. I'm enjoying my freedom. So, Cody, how are we going to get $100 to buy more robots? Junior, I don't think we should try to raise any more money. We've done enough damage. Hey, guys, my daddy said I need to raise $5,000 by tonight or he's going to kick me out of the house. But that's not even possible. Well, Cody, did you not hear what Jeffy just said? If he doesn't get $5,000 by tonight, he's going to be homeless. Well, Junior, that's not possible. And also, he damaged that car. I mean, it's not our problem. We were trying to wash it. But, Cody, friends stick together. we got to help our friends. Yeah! So we have to help Jeffy get the $5,000. Well, how are we going to do that, Junior? Um, hold on. Let me think. I'm going to be like Jimmy Neutron. Think. 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 Ugh, who's at the door ruining my brain blast? Come on, Cody. Let's answer the door. Hello? Hi, Junior. Do you want to buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have s'mores. A mint cookie? No, Penelope. We don't want to buy stupid, dumb Girl Scout cookies. We need money ourselves. We're not going to waste it on cookies. Damn, Junior. You could have just said no. Well, actually, I, I will take some of those mint cookies. Aw, thanks, Cody. Eat your mint cookies, stink breath. Bye. Okay, that was rude. Cody, why would you buy cookies? Well, I'm sorry, but now my feelings are hurt. Cody, if you have money for cookies, why don't you give it for Jeff? He needs $5,000. It was only $10, Junior. Cody, oh my God. We need money. In Wait a minute. Buying those cookies just gave me an idea. Oh, yeah, we should probably... We should beat up those girls for the money. What? No, I thought you were going to say we should sell cookies. What? No, selling cookies is hard. Beating up girls is easy. Chris Brown does it. What? Chris Brown doesn't beat people up for money. He doesn't? What? No. Then why'd he do it? Because he's an asshole. Oh, so you're saying we should sell Girl Scout cookies? Yes, that would be much easier. All right, let's go tell the other guys. Guys! 
Guys, guys, guys! Me and Cody found the fastest way to make $5,000. Well, I wouldn't say it's the fastest way to make $5,000. Me and Cody found the best way to make $5,000. I definitely wouldn't say it's the best way either. We found a way to make $5,000. Over time, yes. All right, guys, so we're at the door, and these Girl Scouts showed up and said, you want to buy some cookies? And Cody gave them $10 for no reason. Well, I did get cookies. So, guys, I was thinking we could sell cookies, and we could make $5,000. That's a good idea, Junior. Yeah, that's a dope idea, dude. Junior, we're not going to make $5,000 just from selling cookies, and we have to do it today. Well, Cody, we're going to sell this one box of cookies for $5,000. Junior, that's insane. No one's going to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Yes, they will. If we tell them that there's a possibility that there's $10,000 inside it, they'll pay $5,000 for it. That's a pretty big gamble, Junior. I don't think anyone's going to do that. Yes, they will, because if we tell them that there's $10,000 in that box, they're going to say, hmm, I could double my money if I give them $5,000? Okay, Junior, I want you to think about this. First, we have to find somebody who has $5,000 in cash on them, which is pretty rare in this economy, and they also have to be dumb enough to pay $5,000 for a box of cookies. Cody, anything's possible. We landed on the moon. We're humans. We have thumbs. If caterpillars were trying to do this, I would say it's impossible, but we can make it happen. I, I will agree with you that caterpillars couldn't do this. All right, so guys, we have to find some Girl Scout outfits. Oh, I actually have some from role-playing with Ken. Okay, so you go get those outfits. Someone's gonna believe there's $10,000 in that box. Wait, there's $10,000 in that box, dude? See, Cody, someone will believe it. Let's go, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, this is the first house, and I feel like we're gonna get the $5,000. Hello? Hey, we're trying to sell Girl Scout cookies. But you guys aren't girls. Uh, oh, I forgot. Anybody can be a girl these days. Yeah, I'd love some Girl Scout cookies. Well, all we have is the mint cookie flavor. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite kind. Uh, what's that, like 10 bucks? Uh, hold on. Do, do you have change for 100? Uh, yeah, we have change for 100. Okay. Take this and run. Wait, wait, where is he going with my money? Oh, he's going to go get change from the car. I, I don't see a car. Oh, it's parked way down the street. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, but while we, while we wait, I have an amazing opportunity for you, sir. Uh, okay, I'd like to hear it. What if I told you that there's $10,000 in this box of cookies? I wouldn't believe you. Well, if you give us $5,000, you'll have a chance to open up this box to see if there's $10,000 in it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That sounds like a terrible deal. Well, well do you have $5,000 anywhere in the house? No, no, I don't think I do. Oh. Is it? Is that kid gonna come back with my money? RUN! What? Hey, hey, you bastards! Get back here! Shit! Honey, shit! What's wrong, Boydie? Well, these kids came to the door dressed like Girl Scouts and they scammed me out of $100. I should have known something was fishy when they weren't girls. Aw, Boydie, you know kids will be kids. No, honey, they committed a felony! Well, did you at least get the cookies? No! God, I'm so, I'm so pissed! <sighs> Well, guys, we got $100. Yeah, we just need 4900 to go. Well, we only have to go to 49 more houses, Cody. Well, yeah, and we have to hope that everybody gives us $100 and asks for change, and then we run off every time. Stop being a negative Nancy, Cody. That's my mommy's name. Wait, wait, dude, you got 100 bucks? Sick. Wait, Joseph, why weren't you trying to sell cookies with us? Because I told you I'm not doing manual labor, dude. Well, technically, guys, we did get the $100 we needed to buy more robots. I mean, yeah, that's true. We could just buy more robots. I mean, it's up to you, Jeffy. Do you want to buy the robots or go to 49 more houses? Hmm. Okay, guys, let's fight with our robots. Yeah, we're two bad bitches. But you're no match for my boss. All right, guys, let's fight. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my God. We're kicking your ass. Why can't you beat it up your boss? No, oh, my boss is kicking your bitch ass. No, it is. It's my bitch is bitch in your boss. Marvin, why are you biting your nails? Because I'm worried that Jeffy's not going to get the money in time. So you don't have the money. Oh, Goodman. Good thing I brought the scissors. What are the scissors for? Oh, he didn't tell you? Oh, Pooby, banana me. Hey, what's up? Do you mind peeling that banana for me, Pooby? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, what's the banana for? Oh, you'll see. The banana represents Marvin's wiener. Oh, it's not that big. And since he doesn't have my house payment. <laughs> graphic, I know. Hey, you gonna finish this banana? No, Pooby, you can have it. Oh, thank you. So you guys watching the video, just know every time you are watching a video, Pooby is behind the couch eating a banana. So go ahead and like the video. For every like that you give us, that's another banana for Pooby. So Marvin, since you don't have my money, whip it out. Oh, uh, Jeffy might have the money. Let me go check. No, we can't get up on his ass. Take oh, that, you no, no, no. Hey! Jeffy, where's my money? Oh, I gave up on now. We're playing with robots. Oh, Jeffy, you owe me 5000 Come on! Okay, Goodman, look, it's Jeffy's fault. He's the one that destroyed your car. So if anyone should get their banana snipped, it's him. Marvin! Baby, my, my, my wiener. It's not like we use it. Well, Marvin, I have a special punishment for Jeffy. Come with me. Is this your car? Yep. Is this the brick that you use to wash my car? Watch like it. Well, I'm going to wash your car. Ugh! Don't you ever touch my car again! 
Ooh. Marvin, what do you think he's doing to Jeffy? I don't know, baby, but I'm worried about my wiener. I don't want it to get snipped off. <gasps> his scissors. Ooh, baby, hide his scissors. Oh, okay. All right, Marvin, I just punished Jeffy. I threw a brick at his car. Now we're even. Now for you, young man, you didn't pay your house payment. So now I'm going to snip off your wiener. Wait a minute. Where, where are my wiener snipping scissors? I left them right here. Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I haven't seen them. Well, I can't snip wieners without my wiener snipping scissors. And I can't just use a regular pair of scissors. Darn, Marvin. I guess it's your lucky day. I guess I'm just going to have to punch you in the dick instead. Oh, oh, oh my god. And you bet your dick I'm going to order me a new pair of wiener snipping scissors. And then next month, when you don't have your house payment, I'm going to snip your wiener clean off your body. You know what? Better yet, I'm going to snip it long way so it looks like a snake tongue. Oh, uh, well... I guess is the best outcome that could have happened today. Alright crafts, tonight we're going to be doing another school play. The school play that we're going to be doing is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh my god, Goldilocks? That's like my favorite story. I'm totally going to be Goldilocks. Oh great, another school play where my talents will be totally wasted on me playing an inanimate object. What am I going to be this time? A bowl of porridge? Maybe a chair or a window? Come on, Cody, you're way too talented to be a window. I see you more as a door. Yeah, totally a door, dude. Yeah, thanks, guys. Now I'm going to come around the class and pass out the costumes for the role that you'll be playing. All right, Junior, you're going to be Papa Bear. Oh, yeah! And Penelope, you're going to be Mama Bear. What? But who's going to be Goldilocks? And Joseph, you're going to be Baby Bear. Oh, that's shit, dude! And Cody, you're going to be Goldilocks. What? I'm finally the lead! All my dreams are coming true! What? How is Cody going to be Goldilocks? He's a boy! Shut that up, Penelope. I'm obviously hotter than you as a girl. Thank you so much, teacher. I knew you could see my talent when I played that tree and that sheep. Follow your dreams kids. They really do come true. This is going to be our best play ever. Baby, I promise you this is the last play I'm going to. My son's the lead. Isn't this Goldilocks? You got a problem with my son being a woman? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's fine. Hmm. <laughs> well, Cody, why are you crying? Well, it's just that I'm finally the lead role. Everyone's going to be paying attention to me. Cody, I should be playing the girl. Shut up, Penelope. It's 2022. Men can be better women than women can. <sighs> All right, kids. The show's about to start. Everybody ready? <laughs> Chew, baby. I put the hoe in show business. I was born ready. All right. Everyone take their places. Okay, everybody get the frick off my stage. Watch me rock. Mom, Dad, I won't let you down. All right, everyone, shut up. It's starting. Don't distract my Codykins. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Goldilocks. Hi, I'm Goldilocks, and I'm just playing outside. Is that a butterfly? Is that a butterfly? I'm gonna grab it. Yes, I am. Come here, butterfly. I'm gonna chase it. Yes, I am. Where you going, butterfly? You're going into the wood. I guess I'm gonna follow him. I I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> Where'd you go, you stupid butterfly? Oh no, I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. <gasps> I am lost in the woods and I can't find my way back home. I am tired. I am cold. I just want to go home. Is that a random house in the woods? I'm gonna see if anyone is home. Maybe they can help me find my way back. Hopefully it's not a house where they sell crack. The door's unlocked, I'm inside I wonder if there's anyone that's alive. Maybe they have a phone I can use. This is breaking and entering! Hello? Huh, I guess they're not home. Wait, I want to be where the people aren't. Huh, well maybe they don't want me here. Oh well, better poke around. Do I smell porridge? I love porridge. And what? Three bowls of porridge right here out in the open that haven't even been eaten? What a bunch of wasteful bastards. But if they're not going to eat it, then I will. Let me try this. Oh no, no, that porridge is cold. I can't eat that. Let's try this one. Oh, oh, that is bad porridge. That porridge is just disgusting. Should I even try the third bowl? I mean, the first two were not good at all. But I mean, I guess if I broke into their house, I might as well try all their food. Let's try the third one, too. Oh, oh, that porridge is the best porridge I've ever had in my life. 
that is some good fucking porridge. Ha has anybody tried this goddamn porridge? That porridge is amazing. No one told me the porridge would be this good. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is excellent porridge. And that doesn't really make a lot of sense, though, because, I mean, you'd think all of the porridge would have come from the same batch, but no. I guess everybody likes their porridge a little different, but I'd say this one is just right. This one is cold. This one is bad. This is the best porridge I've ever had. I'm eating it. Hope no one's mad. This porridge is just right. Man, you know what would be really good? A chair, so I could sit down while I eat my porridge. You know, chairs, because people usually like to sit down when they eat. They don't just eat standing up. Well, I guess these people do, because they just ran off in a hurry. That's why they didn't eat all their porridge, but I'm going to go look for a chair. Oh, well, there are the chairs. Well, I guess I'll just pop a squat. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, that's a chair. It's all right. You know, it's pretty comfy. Well, there are two other chairs. I guess I might as well try them. I don't really know why I would. It's not like this is rooms to go. I'm not going to buy a chair, but... Ugh. Yeah, this one's okay too, I guess. I mean, it's not as comfy because it doesn't have a cushion, but it's fine. Well, there's one more chair. Might as well try it, see what this is about. Ooh, ooh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this. This is the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta sing a song about this. <sighs> this one is fine. This one's okay. This one's the best, so I guess I'll just stay. I'm sitting down. Hope oh, no one's mad. This chair is just right! Ooh, wow, that was nice. Man, this chair really wore me out. I think I could use a nap. Let me go look at their beds. Well, here are the beds. Wait, is that a hospital gurney? Uh-oh, something really sad is happening in this house. But still, I'm really tired from chasing that butterfly and eating the porridge and sitting in those chairs, so I think I need a nap. Ugh. Nope, yeah, no, this, this sucks. I don't know what I expected. This is a hospital bed. It's very stiff. Let me try that one. Ugh. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit better. I mean, it's better than that, but it's still pretty hard. How about this one? Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's the one. Uh, let me just uh, jump from this bed to over there. That, that'll be fun. Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah, Daddy likes this bed. Oh, I can sleep here. But first, I'm gonna sing a song! This one is stiff. This one's too hard. This one's the best, so I guess I'll just sleep. I'm laying down, no one is mad. This bed is just right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the bed. I think I can just sleep here. I don't think I have to worry about them coming home. They left all their stuff out, so I'm pretty sure it was an emergency. <sighs> I can't believe Grandma had a heart attack. I know, that's why we had to leave the house in such a hurry. Poor Grandma, we should have got the life alert. Well, let's go inside and eat our porridge. Yum, I'm hungry. Damn Skippy. Oh man, I can't wait to eat my porridge. Mmm, looks good. Hey! What? You took my spoon! I didn't take your spoon. Yes, you did. That spoon was in my porridge before we left, and now it's in yours. Well, how do you know that this isn't your bowl? Because, woman, I always sit on this side of the table. Also, my bowl is cold because I refrigerate mine. And mine tastes like piss because I peed in it. What the hell is wrong with you two? Just admit you took my spoon. I didn't take your damn spoon. Yes, you did! Stop yelling at me in front of our son! Well, I'll show you yelling. How about that? Oh, wow! Get who has to clean that up? Oh, the one damn thing you do around the house while you sit on your ass all day while I work? Oh, work? Like go out and drink beers with the boys? Oh, I deserve a treat because I'm the one you that works. I have to work. Oh, 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 you have to get what mop and like, open up yeah, tampons? Yeah, 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 please, I hate it when you argue. You shut the hell up and go to your room. Don't talk to our son like that. I don't even think he's our son. He's clearly black. He's no. not mine. I want a divorce. Okay, fine. We can get a divorce. Let's do it. Let's okay, do it. fine. Let's go sit in the chairs and then discuss the divorce. Yes, let's! Ooh, two Christmases? Now sit down and we're gonna talk about this. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, oh I can't tell you what to do. How about this? Ugh. Oh, look who's the big, strong bear now throwing furniture around everywhere. I'm just trying to be like your secret lover, Winnie the Pooh. Don't bring him into this. Oh, why, why don't you want me to bring him into it? I saw him come by the other day and drop off our mail. I bet he shot honey all over your face with his 100-acre schlong. At least he's nice to me. Oh, nice to you? Yeah, I think I bet you do think he's nice because he walks around with just a shirt on and his dingling flinging around. Around. Well, at least he's present and always here. Yeah, Mom said that Mr. Pooh's gonna be my new dad. And the truth comes out. It was never supposed to be like this. Bitch, I suggest you grab your shit and get out. Fine, I will. Oh, 
going to pack up everything, even your bed sheets. Come on, come on. Is it yelling? Grab your pillow, grab your bed sheets, grab everything. I don't want to see your face ever again. We were already sleeping in separate beds and we don't love each other. Hold on, who the hell is she? I've never seen her a day in my life. You bring your trashy bimbo under my roof in my house. No, 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 you clearly know I don't like blondes. I love redhead fat bitches. <gasps> right, guys, this is just a big misunderstanding. Say A lot better looking than the guy you're sleeping with. Right? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, I'm home and I got the honey pot because I provide for my bitches. Oh, look who decided to show up. You are supposed to be at work. You bring another guy in this house and I pay all the bills and I work on you stupid bitch. Hey, don't you hit her. Oh, you're gonna fight me out. You wanna fight me out? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm, I'm just gonna leave. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Gonna leave this place before I get hit in the face. Yes, I am, cause I'm just gonna leave. Cause you're so low. Okay, that's the house we're gonna rob, okay? So you just go in there and you steal anything you can find that's valuable. I'm talking cash, jewelry, savings bonds, box tops, coupons, those little collectible half dollars, those go-gurts that give you a chance to win the Sweet Life on Deck cruise because I want to meet Zach and Cody. Anything you can find that's valuable. Listen, Freddy, I don't know if I can do this. What if I get caught? I, I can't go back to jail again. I just can't. Can you do it? Ugh, look, I'm not the one who's already dressed like Santa Claus. Well, I told you the gas station we could switch. That suit's not gonna fit me. You weigh like 200 pounds. You know that hurts my feelings. Oh, Jesus, Lenny. Okay, look, if you go in there and somebody sees you, they're not gonna know it's you. They're just gonna think it's Santa Claus. You know what? You're right. I need to stop being such a pussy. Let's go this shit. Yeah, Let's yeah. Go. <sighs> Now come on, where's the cash? Where's the food? Come on, come on, where's the savings bond? They ain't got shit in here! Well, I can at least check for the goats. Come on, where's the sweet life on deck with Zach and Cody? Oh, Santa Claus! Oh, shit! How am I gonna get out of this one? Uh, hey there, little boy! Have you been good this year? Well, sometimes I say shit. Well, that's okay. You're still gonna get a ton of presents. Okay, but what are you doing here, Santa? It's not Christmas yet. Uh, Santa is here to fix your refrigerator. It's not working. You fix refrigerators? Yeah! How do you think we get all the money to make all the presents at the North Pole? Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, so, uh... Do you know where your parents keep all their special things? Well, my daddy says I'm special. Well, Jeffy, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Santa Claus, the refrigerator repairman. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! That's not Santa Claus. Shit! Oh, oh, no, no, I can't! All right, bye, Santa! Daddy, you okay? Come on, I'll lock the door! Sorry! Drive! Drive, 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 drive! Did you get any good stuff? No! I got caught to play to drive! Oh, God damn it! Oh. Uh. oh my god, Marvin, what happened to you? Santa Claus hit him in the face with a hammer. Why wasn't Santa in the North Pole? Because he was downstairs fixing the refrigerator. Marvin, what happened? Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Someone called the cops. Well, good news, Daddy. I already called him. <laughs>
Maybe that's them. Hello? Hey there, you call the cops? Yes, yeah, Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Oh, that sucks. You got a package at your door? Can I come in and open it? I feel like there's more important things in my package at the door. Yeah, but I gotta come in anyway for your police report? Come on, can I bring it in and open it, please? I really like to see people's packages. I'm nosy. <sighs> okay, bring it in. Yay. Oh, I can't wait to open this. I don't remember ordering a package. Well, I can tell you who it's from. It's from today's sponsor, Displate. Collect your passions at Displate.com. What's a disc plate? Oh, Marvin, what's a disc plate? Dis is a disc plate. Now, every disc plate comes packaged in this brand new material called cardboard, and it's light yet durable. Here, I'll show you how to open it. See, look at that, that easy. No ripping, no tearing, no cussing, no fussing. And look at that, Spider-Man. So it's a poster? Oh, Marvin, disc plates are unique metal posters you can mount on your wall in just 20 seconds with no power tool since it's all magnetic. So you don't need to get a nail and nail it to the wall? No, nails are a thing of the Past. What do you even use nails for? Building houses? No, I'll show you how to hang this bad boy up. All right, Marvin, let me show you how easy this is. Let me get my instructions. All right, now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is clean your wall, because I'm assuming most people have dirty walls. So luckily, they give you this handy little cleaning wipe that you can just wipe the wall down so your magnet sticks better. Now, the problem is I have little puppet hands, they don't work. So luckily, I have Anthony here to help me out. Anthony, I just open that for him. Mm -hmm. Show him how it's done. You take the wipe out, see that? See that wipe? Now you wipe the wall down so it's nice and clean so that the magnet sticks good. Now, see, that's a, that's a clean wall right there. Now we just gotta wait 10 minutes for that to dry. Well, this, this wall's clean right here. Oh, well, why didn't you tell me? Oh, that's great, okay, so now we can move on to step two. See, we got the protective leaf. It even tells you where to put the magnet. Anthony, you wanna stick that on the wall there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, see what he's doing? You, you rip that off, you stick it on the wall, uh-huh, and then you tear the backing off, you work out those air bubbles. I don't want any air bubbles. Perfect, perfect, it looks great. See, and now, you know where to put your magnet. So you get your magnet here, and you just peel that blue part off, peel it, show them how to peel it. Great, and you stick that right where it tells you to. Yep, yep, see, the sticky part, right on there. Yep, see, it's perfect. Now we get to do my favorite part, tearing off the plastic. Ooh, that's good, oh, that is good. Oh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it's nice, yep, yep, take that off, Spider-Man. Now, you can hang Spider-Man. Look at that, you got Spider-Man right there on your wall. And what's that, you don't want Spider-Man on your wall? Well guess what, you can just swap it out with another one. Let me show you. They also have Shrek, move. Anthony, take down Spider-Man. I wanna put Shrek there. Look at that, now you have Shrek on your wall. Ooh, donkey! See how easy it was to swap those out? And look at this, look at those bended edges. See how bended those edges are? See, that's so there's no white on the outside. The poster is perfect, it just pops right out of the wall. That's so cool, so you have Shrek and Spider-Man? Oh, they get all kinds of stuff. They get movies, gaming, comics, nature, music, history, automotive, and so much more. Where are these bad boys manufactured? Very astute question, Marvin. Disc plates are manufactured in Europe and will reach you within four to five days. Yeah, you can find our very special recommendations using the link in the description. They're all Shrek. Displate is a good alternative to standard paper impressions or canvas printing. It's even cheaper using the special Christmas discount available through our link or promo code shown below. Buying one to two plates is 22% off and three or more are 33% off. This is the last call to get a displate ordered and delivered before Christmas. Okay, awesome. Wait, Marvin, why is your face like that? Oh, well, let's go to the couch and talk about it. Okay. All right, now tell me exactly what happened. So some guy who looks like Santa Claus broke into my house and hit me in the face with a hammer. Why would he hit you with a hammer? I don't know, he just did. Well, people don't just break into people's houses and hit them with hammers for no reason. You must have done something. Did you piss him off? I don't even know who he is. Well, you said he was Santa. I said he looks like Santa. Okay, so a guy who looks like Santa hit you with a hammer. Yes. Okay, well, I will go look for Santa. Okay, Simmons, we're looking for Santa Claus. Oh, I know where Santa Claus is. Where? The North Pole. No, Simmons, he has to be around here somewhere because he just broke into a house. Well, he does that every year. He delivers presents. No, 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 I mean, he broke into a house and he hit somebody with a hammer. Well, that doesn't sound like Santa Claus behavior. Well, look, I all I know is it's a guy who looks like Santa Claus. Well, why don't you just say that? Well, look, Simmons, just be on the lookout for, like, a sleigh or reindeer or... What? Oh, shit, I, I think that's him. Come on. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle... Oh shit, am I getting pulled over? Damn it! All right, Simmons, he pulled over. Let's go see if this is our guy. All right. Excuse me, sir, you look like Santa Claus. Well, I am. Yeah, sure you are, buddy. Well, we got a report that somebody who looked like Santa broke into a house and hit a guy with a hammer. 
Well, I was at this girl's house and I hit her with my hammer. <laughs> oh, damn, up top, Santa. Nice. Yeah, I bet you're hung. Like a stocking. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Balls yeah. as big as ornaments. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. She choked on my eggnog. Ew. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think I get it. You had intercourse. Okay, so where are you off to tonight? A a strip club. Oh, okay, you horny old bastard. I think I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. But I'm the real Santa! Well, if you're the real Santa, where's your sleigh and all your reindeer? Well, Rudolph, he's got balls big as shit, and he's getting neutered right now. Too much drag on the sleigh. Okay, I think you're under arrest. Now stay in there! I didn't do anything! I'm innocent! I'm the real Santa! Oh yeah? If you're the real Santa, then what did I ask for for Christmas when I was six years old? A Care Bear? How'd you know that? No, no, don't tell anybody that. That's embarrassing. Okay, you know what? You might be the real Santa, but you still hit someone in the face with a hammer. I didn't do it! Cram it, Kringle. We'll let the judge decide. Ayo, hey, Fickles! <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, bring them jingle balls over here. Huh, it's gonna be a black Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you better bend over. Santa Claus is getting ready to come down your chimney. What? Help! Help! God! Please! Help! Come on, Bubbles, let's get you out of here. Get me away from you! Taking you to solitary. Please! What did I do? Guard! What do you want, Santa? I'm taking this shit and I don't have any toilet paper! Oh, well it's time for you to go see the judge, so just pull him up and let it crust. Okay, it won't be the first time. I don't have time to wipe for my delivering Christmas presents. I did not need to know that, Santa. Come on. Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Pooper, and today we will be hearing the case of Santa Claus, who is being accused of breaking into Marvin's house and hitting him with a hammer. Santa Claus, you are being charged with breaking and entering, assault with a deadly weapon, and giving me a lump of coal when I was 13. How do you plead? Not guilty. Well, I know you're guilty, so Marvin, tell me what happened. So I heard my son Jeffy talking to someone downstairs, so I went to go see what was going on, and he was talking to Santa Claus. And then Santa Claus hit me in the face with a hammer. Damn, looks like Santa's on the naughty list. I didn't do it, that wasn't me. Okay, Santa. Well, if that wasn't you, then what were you doing tonight? What is your alibi? I was driving to the strip club. The what? Speak up. The strip club to get some ho, ho, hoes. The strip club? I have heard enough. You were clearly trying to break into Marvin's house to steal money to throw on strippers, and you got caught, so you hit him with a hammer. Santa Claus, I find you guilty of everything, and I sentence you to six months in prison. Six months? Christmas is in a week and a half! Who's going to deliver the presents? Well, you should have thought of that before you went on your crime spree. Bailiff, take him away. Come on, get in your cell. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Get in there. You know you don't have to come babysit me. I know what I'm doing. I've robbed the house before. Well, you didn't steal anything from the last house. I was scared. Just open the damn door. Yeah, I fuck. All right, be very quiet. Just hurry up and grab anything valuable. Go trophies! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's touching my trophies. What? I can sense it when someone's touching my trophies. Okay, I think that's all of them. Hey, what the fuck you doing? Give me back my trophies. No, run, Sam. Hey, get back here. Where are you going? Police, help. I gave him a parking ticket for parking too close to the curb. <laughs> I can't believe we just robbed that house. Yeah, we robbed them for everything they got. This totally makes up for me hitting the guy with my hammer earlier. <laughs> Did you say you just robbed that house? Oh shit, is that the cops? Uh, all right, you're coming with me. Oh, nuts! Order, 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 order. So it turns out we arrested the wrong Santa earlier today. This fake Santa is the one who's been going around breaking into people's houses and hitting them with hammers. And it also turns out that his elf accomplice is my evil twin brother does bad things, Pooby. Come on, brother, go easy on me. We're family. Remember when we were kids and you broke mom's vase and blamed it on me? Well, this is payback for that. I sentence both of you to six months in prison and release the real Santa. I told you I didn't want to go back to jail. You nincompoop. Why are you order? Good news, Santa. We found the real fake Santa that did the crime. I didn't do shit. Kringle, is that you, brother? But you guys know each other? 
Yes, that's my evil twin brother, Kringle. He was always mother's favorite. Oh, well, you can come out, Santa. Get in there, Kringle. Hey, you you think you could build me up? Ho, 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 ho. No. All right, baby, are you ready to watch TV? Yeah. Marvin, I'm excited to watch Shark Tank. Ooh, Ma Phipps, I got you some SpaghettiOs. I never asked for SpaghettiOs, Dougie. But you look so really all that be all that hungry. I don't look hungry. Yes, you do. Here, look, at least read it. What, read it? What could you have possibly spelt with SpaghettiOs? They're all O's. What, Marfin, please, Call of Duty. Marfin, please give me the new Call of Duty, please. I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty, Dougie. Also, these aren't SpaghettiOs. These are alphabet letters. The, the SpaghettiOs only have O's. Oh. Yeah, and also, my name's not Marfin. It's Marvin. I want a muffin. I didn't say muffin. Look, and also, 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 I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty. You can buy it yourself. But I need it, and I ain't got no job. Oh, you ain't got a job? Well, no. I, got, I got an idea. All right, Dougie, I got this. I thought you was gonna go get your wallet. Why would I go get my wallet? To give me $60 so I can get the game. I'm not getting you new Call of Duty, Dougie. I got a soup. See, I told you you was hungry. I'm not hungry. Look, read it. Did you get it? See, I can't read. But why the fuck were you staring at it so long? If you can't read, you just told me you couldn't read. Because it looked good. If you can't read, then how would you spell Marfin, please, Call of Duty? Because I paid someone $5 to do it. If you paid someone $5 to do it, you could use that $5 to go towards the game. Well, see, it was an investment. See, I paid $5, so hopefully get a $60 game. All right, listen, it says get a job. Well, why'd you put it in the soup? You could've just told me that. You could've just told me to get your new Call of Duty. But then you would've said no. I did say no. <sighs> what? Listen, me and Rose are gonna watch the new Shark Tank episode and you're gonna watch it with us. Well, see, I don't understand why you're gonna sit around and watch a bunch of fishes swim around and tank and stuff when you can just give me $6 and I can get a game. Look, watch this show. It might inspire you to make some money. Four sharks who are all billionaires are looking to invest their money into the next million dollar product. Hello Sharks, my name is Jonathan, and I live in my mother's basement. So Sharks, how many of you have went to go watch anime on your laptop, and then all of a sudden, you have to blow your load of boogers, so you grab your tissue, and then you blow your load into it, and now you start watching anime again. But then, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, you have to blow another load of boogers. So you reach in your tissue box, but it's empty because your mother has you went to the store in three weeks. Well, now what are you going to do? You have to blow your load of boogers, and you have no way to do it. Well, Sharks, I have created a solution to this worldwide problem. Introducing to you, the Come With Me Rag. Wherever I go, this bad boy comes with me. And it's machine washable, so it's reusable, so it's better for the environment than just regular tissues. And this bad boy can hold so many loads of boogers. So sharks, who's ready to blow their load of cash with me? Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, what material is it made of? Is it soft? Because I have kind of a sensitive uh, nose. Oh, I have a sensitive nose too! So I made sure to make this out of the softest products. This is made out of 100% pure Egyptian cotton made in India. Can, can I feel it? Of course you can feel it! Oh, oh thank you. Wow, wow, this is soft. Uh, yeah. Ah, you know, I actually have to sneeze. You mind if I blow my load of boogers into this? Sure! Blow all the loads of boogers you need! Mmm, mm, that did feel good on my nose, but... Ah, it's kind of a weird smell. It smells kind of salty. Oh, that's because I had to use it on the way here. I had to blow a quick load of boogers into it. Ew! I have a question. How many loads of boogers can you blow into it? I would say five loads of boogers. First, you want to work your corners. Then, you want to work your way towards the middle. Does it come in any different colors? It only comes in white, so you don't see the booger stains. I don't understand the product. It looks like any towel I would find at a store. Shut up, lady! This product's not meant for you! Well, I'd like to make an offer. I'll give you $200 for it. Sold, sucker! This is just a regular watch slot from Target! No takesy backsies, no pay up! I knew it! Well, deal is a deal. Give me that bad boy. Yo, Marvin! 
clips. They just gave that man $200 for a washcloth? Well, usually you're supposed to invent something and then the sharks will invest their money into it. So if I go on the show, they're going to give me $60 for the new Call of Duty? No, they're not going to give you money for Call of Duty, but if you invent something and they like it, they'll invest their money and then you can make money for Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I got some easy ideas. Keep watching the show. I'll be right back. The sharks are ready to hear the next invention. Hello, sharks. My name is Itchy Boy Dougie, and my invention is to give me money box. So what you do is you put money in the box, and then I have it. So who wants to invest? I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Now hold on. I have a question. When I put my money in the box, where does the money go? It goes in the box, and then I takes it out, and then I have it. Okay, but how do I make money? Well, you ain't gonna make money, you just gonna make me happy because now I get the game. The game? The brand new Call of Duty, I needs it. Yeah, I'm out. What you mean you out? You out some money? I know you ain't out some money because I know you rich. Y'all know you can afford to give me $60. Leave. Okay, I'll take my money back somewhere else. Marvin the Mean Sharks on TV was mean. They said no to my invention. And I know it's a good idea because I'm like Thomas Edison. It's not a good idea, Dougie. It's just a box that says give me money on it. Well, does anyone else want to invest? No. Well, since I was on TV, I'm famous. So I'll only charge you $60 for my autograph. I don't want an autograph, Dougie. If you want $60 that bad, go get a job. Ooh, Marvin the Fair's in town. Can we go? No, all the rides make me nauseous. Well, we don't have to ride rides. We can just play games and win prizes. But the games are scams. Last time I lost $100. <gasps> Marvips, did you say scam and $100? So all I got to do is set up a game and people will give me $100? Well, no, the games at the fair are scams and they charge you a lot of money to win cheap prizes. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Oh, thanks for the idea, Muffin Man. You can have my box. What? I, 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 Dougie. Come on, come on. And Dougie's Dunkaroo. Oh, I want to play the game. Yeah, me too. All right, well, let me tell you how to play. First, you pay me 10 and then you get two shots. If one of your shots makes it one of these holes, whatever the number next to the hole is, is how much money you gotta pay me. So if it goes into 10 hole, you gotta pay me $10. If it goes into 50 hole, you gotta pay me $50. Wait, so we have to pay to play, and then we have to pay again if we win? Yeah. Well then why would we even play? Cause it's really fun. Look, I even give you two free shots. Go ahead. Ooh, a free shot. I'll go first. Oh, I almost made it. Okay. <sighs> Oh, I get 10. All right, now you owe me $10. Wait, you said it was free to play. Well, it was free to shoot the shot, but if it goes in a hole, you owe me $10. What? This is ridiculous. I'm not paying. Come on, Junior. Wait, yeah, I'm going to call the pop -up. You steal it from me. Hey there, somebody called the cops about a robbery? I did, Mr. Police Officer Man, because some kid done stole $10 from me. Okay, way to go. He went that way wearing glasses and a shirt. So he just ran up and stole your money? Well, no, what I have is this game called Dougie's Dunkaroo. And what you do is you pay me $10 and I give you two shots. And if one of your balls goes in one of the holes, whatever the number next to it is, how much money? You gotta pay me. Well, the kid made it in a ten dollar hole and he ain't give me no ten dollars. Well, I can't say I blame him. I mean, this kind of sounds like bullshit. Well, what I did was is I gave him two free shots, and so he made one of them in a ten dollars and he ain't paid me. No, this kind of sounds like you're trying to scam people. Well, the fair does it. Well, yeah, but that's the fair. This is somebody's house. What, Dougie? What are you doing? Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. What you do no, is you pay no, me ten dollars. No, 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 no. He's trying to scam people out of the money. Dougie, I told you not to do that. Why? Well, I, I ain't mean to. Do you told me the fair did it, and then you got scammed out of a hundred. I was at the fair. I think you two should probably just get out of here. Come on, Dougie, let's go. Oh. I want to play this by myself. Oh, damn it. Oh, Dougie, I cannot believe you tried scamming people. But you told me I could do it because the fair done did it to you. No, I never said you could do it. Marvin, keep it down. I'm trying to read my book. Well, I got an idea of how you can make money, Dougie. You could try writing a book, because the Harry Potter books have made billions of dollars. But Marvin, he said earlier he can't read. Yeah, Marvips, you just be trying to make fun of my disabilities. No, I'm just trying to help you make money so you can get your stupid game, because writing a book would make you a lot of money. Hmm, I guess I could try writing the books. Hey, can I borrow your books? Oh, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's about a boy named Harry Potter, and he casts spells. What type of spells? No, he casts spells. He's a wizard. Oh, okay, I think I know what I'm just gonna write about. I can't believe you gave Dougie your book. Marvin, I think it's nice your friend is trying to read. All right, Marvin, I wrote my books. Harry Potter and the Unknown Smell. Well, Dougie, get, get that out of here. And I'll go ahead and ruin the ending for you. The Unknown Smell was his Harry Potter. Dougie, that was very inappropriate, and you didn't write that book. All you did was tape a picture to the front of her book. You ruined my Harry Potter book! Well, I'm just trying to get some money for the game. Listen, Dougie, if you're this desperate for money, why don't you donate a kidney? Well, what's a kidney? Well, look, it's something in your body. You have two of them, and you can donate one for money. Well, how are they going to get it out? They're going to do surgery and cut it out. Well, that's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but it'll make you money. Ooh, 
Ooh, money. Well, I got me an idea. All right, my bips, I got my kidney. What, Dougie, that's not your kidney. Yes, it is. No, that's made out of Play-Doh. No, it's not. I see the container right there. Don't tell nobody. I'm not gonna tell anyone, Dougie, but no one's gonna fall for this. No one's gonna think this is your kidney. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? What? You called a doctor? Yeah, because I gotta get the money for the game. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Doctor Man, I wanna sell my kidney for $60. But, but, okay, hold on. I have a number of questions. First of all, how did you even get your kidney out? I pooped it out. But you, you just, you pooped it out? Yeah, I was sitting on the toilet, and I was so really constipated, and then after I went boo-boo, I got up and I looked down and said, there go my kidney. So here go my kidney. I didn't even know it was possible to poop your kidney out. It, how long has it been out? Because it only stays good for a few hours if it's not on ice. Oh, uh, about four or five minutes. Okay, and you only want to sell it for $60? Yeah, well, how much can I get for it? I mean, kidneys usually go for thousands. Okay, well, then that. No, uh, no, no, you said $60. Oh, well, plus taxes and fees. What, taxes and fees on what? The, 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 new, the new Call of Duty game. Wait, wait, so you want the new Call of Duty for your kidney? Yeah. So, if I go get you Call of Duty, you will give me your kidney? Yeah, that's a deal! I mean, that seems like a good deal for me. I mean, we actually do have a patient who needs a kidney. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with Call of Duty. Wait, you, you can't let him take this kid. You gotta tell him the truth. There's someone that actually needs it. Well, I really need the game. <sighs> okay, I'm back with a new Call of Duty. Oh! Oh, I just got a new Call of Duty. Yeah, I just have to get this kidney back to the little eight-year-old boy who really needs it. Uh, that's something I gotta oh, tell no, you. sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hey, you just saved a life. Oh, no, no, I gotta take some... Oh, Dougie, the eight-year-old boy gonna die because of you. Oh, that's fucked up. But at least I got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. I just got a new Call of Duty. So now I'm going to play it. Dougie, that kid is going to die because you gave him a fake kidney. Why? That kid already has two knees anyway. How many more knees does he need? What? what? Well, I'm just going to play the game. So hold on. Hey. Not right now, man. I'm playing the game. What, what's wrong, doctor? Well, I got all the way back to the hospital, and I told that little boy and his family, congratulations, you're gonna live. I found a new kidney for you. So they all celebrated and cried, and then when I went to go put the kidney in, I realized it was Play-Doh, and I ate it, because Play-Doh smells delicious. So now my stomach hurts, and that little boy's mad at me because he thinks I ate his kidney, and it's all his fault, and he owes me $60 because I bought him Call of Duty. Well, I got an idea I could pay you back. Come on. Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. No, no, no. I don't want to play this game. It's a scam. Well, this time the rules is different. For every hold that you make, that's how much money I pay you. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I like that. But you got to do it with this ball. Okay. Um. Uh, damn it. 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 This game is hard. Uh, damn it. Damn it. Baby, are you ready to watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Aw, I thought we were watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. What's the difference? Gene Wilder's so hot. Okay, fine, we'll watch that one. Marvin, why isn't the TV turning on? Usually it turns on when you press that button. <sighs> the batteries might be dead. Let me see. What? We're missing a battery. Where'd it go? Jeffy, get in here. Yeah, guy? Have you seen the missing battery? No. Jeffy, it's in your nose. Oh. Jeffy, give me the battery back. Okay. Wait, where's your pencil at? Urethra. Jeffy, go to your room. You're grounded. To the room I go. Grounded. And take that pencil out of your wiener. Can you put the battery in there? All right, let's watch. Chicken, 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 chicken. Pizza, 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 pizza. Chicken, 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 chicken. Pizza, 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 pizza. Chicken, 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 chicken. Pizza, 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 pizza. You got KFC chicken in my pizza. Bro, you got pizza underneath my KFC chicken. Nobody would want to eat KFC chicken pizza. Well, hold on, let me try it. Bro, you got to try this shit. Oh my God, that's delicious. It's so good. Mm, you, you gotta, gotta try. Good. 
KFC chicken, chicken pizza. pizza. The, the cheese up. Mm. I was almost chicken in my mouth. Fried chicken pizza? See, baby, that's the reason why America has an obesity problem. And that's the reason I'm really glad that I'm vegan sometimes. I don't know a single person on this planet that would actually want to eat that. <gasps> Mom, it's me. What do you want, Dougie? I want the new KFC fried chicken pizza. You don't need that, Dougie. But I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything all day. I'm just a hungry little dinosaur. Earlier today, I gave you $20 for KFC. Where's that? Right behind me. But I don't want that no more. I want the new KFC chicken pizza. You don't need the KFC chicken pizza. Eat that bucket of chicken behind you. No, I need the pizza because they made it just for me, my bibs. I love pizza and chicken. How about you just get it tomorrow? But what if they don't have it tomorrow? Then that means it sucks so bad that no one else is eating it. But my bibs, please, I be needing the KFC chicken pizza, the cheese. Okay, how about this? How about you go return that chicken to KFC and say there was something wrong with it, and maybe they'll give you a refund, and you can use that money to get the KFC pizza. Oh, my bill. Why are you yelling? That bees are good ideas. I'm going to call up the KFCs and ask for refubs. Yeah, do that. <sighs> my ears hurt. All right, my bibs, it's ringing. Uh, hello? Hey, is this KFC? Is this KFC? What kind of dumbass question is that? Of course it's KFC. You call the number. Well, I was calling up there because I ain't want my chickens no more, and I was trying to get a refub. A refund? This ain't no damn bank. You can't get no cash back. We ain't giving that. Well, you better give me my money back before I come up there and bop your ass. You gonna bop my ass? Boy, I put you in the fry and fry uh, the hell out uh, uh, you. Stop, stop, stop. Let me talk to him. Uh, thank you for calling KFC, sir. What's the matter? Well, I was calling because I ain't want my chicken no more, and I was trying to get a refund. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Was there something wrong with the chicken? No, it was delicious. Then why do you want a refund? Well, because when I was eating it, there was a cat turd in it. Uh, oh, but you just said it was delicious. I know. I ain't see the cat turd until I started eating the chicken. And I ain't know that KFC stood for Kentucky Fried Cat Shit. Well, it doesn't, but this is a very serious accusation. The colonel's going to want to come down there to investigate this himself. Oh, I get to meet Colonel Sanders. Well, it's not the original colonel. It's his great-great-great-grandson, Samuel Sanders. Okay, well, then tell him to come here, then. Okay, the colonel will be there shortly. All right. All right, my bitch, he's on his way. Who? Colonel Sanders' son, like uh, his great grandson or something like, like Samuel Sanders. <laughs> Who's that at the door? Samuel Sanders. Hello. I say, I say, I say good day, sir. I am the Colonel Samuel Sanders, but you may call me Samuel Sanders or simply the Colonel. Hi, Mr. Samuel Sanders. Yes, I am here on behalf of the Kentucky Fried Chicken Corporation regarding a certain unfortunate incident involving some cat feces in a bucket of my prestigious fried chicken. Now, none of the 13 herbs and spices are in fact cat shit. Okay, well my friend wants a refund for the chicken. Hmm, a refund. Well, the colonel does not give out refunds. No, he surely does not. But I will assess the situation and determine if a refund is, in fact, necessary. Well, my friend's upstairs if you want to follow me. Before that, boy, would you like a biscuit? A what? A biscuit, boy! You heard what I said. They are quite buttery, but oh so dry. You will surely not finish one without drinking a glass of water, or else you will choke and die. You surely will. Well, I'm not really in the mood for a biscuit. <laughs> not in the mood for a biscuit? Well, never in all of my days have I ever heard somebody turn down one of my delicious buttery biscuits from the Colonel himself. Well, I just don't want a biscuit. Ooh. <laughs> Careful, Colonel. The boy knows not what he says. Well, I sincerely hope you will reconsider my generous offer of a biscuit, or you will come to regret it. No, I just don't want a biscuit. Doesn't want a biscuit. That's fine. We can move past this awkward incident. Show me the dissatisfied customer. Oh, he's upstairs. Mm. All right, he's in here. Hello, everybody. It is I, Colonel Samuel Sanders. <gasps> my bibs! It's the second coming of Jesus! It's the chicken god! Well, that is quite a lofty title you've given me there, son, but I will accept the role of your god. Now, before we begin negotiations, would anybody like a biscuit? Uh, no thank you. No, I just want some chicken. Well, it seems I am 0 for 3 on offering biscuits. I will strongly urge you to reconsider your refusal of my biscuit. Uh, no. 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 Well then, you can show the cow the path, but you can't make him walk it. That is very disappointing. Now, what is this I hear about cat feces in my chicken? Yeah, well I was eating some chicken right here, and there was a cat turd in it. I see, and where is the cat turd in question? I be done eating it. Good lord, you ate the cat feces. Yeah. Hmm. Let me see that there bucket of chicken. Hmm. Mm. Now, I smell no traces of cat feces, but all I do smell is my 13 original herbs and spices. Well, that's because I be done eating it, the cat turd. 
Uh, I smell a rat. All right, Colonel, let me explain what's going on. Dougie's an idiot, and he was trying to find a way to get your chicken pizza for free, like try to steal it somehow. Like he, he, he had this bucket of chicken. He didn't want it. He wanted to return it for a refund, so he'd give him chicken pizza for free. I see. So this was all an elaborate ruse to steal the recipe to my 13 herbs and spices. Oh, no, no, he doesn't want to steal your 13 herbs and spices. He just wanted a chicken pizza. Mm. I'll have you know that plenty of people have tried to steal my grandfather's secret recipe over the course of the last hundred years, and none of them have lived to tell the tale. Well, that's not us. We're not trying to steal the, the herbs and spices. He just wants chicken pizza. I really wish you'd accepted one of my biscuits, son. You see, a honeybee does not waste time explaining to a fly that honey is better than shit. And my biscuits are honey. You're refusing my biscuits is shit. Now I know all of you are just little flies in my bee world. Prepare to be stung. Oh my god, they fuck with your stupid damn biscuits! Oh, it's too late for that now, boy. Now, I say, I say, I say, which one of you wants to fucking die first? I don't wanna die! Oh, that is it! I'm going to Popeyes! Steve, baby! What you call me in here for, Steve? Did you call me in here to tell me how well my first quarter sales are doing? Steve, tell me I'm loaded. Yes, you're very rich, Ronald. No, Steve. I want you to say, you're loaded, Ronald. You're loaded, Ronald. Uh, uh, thank you, Steve, that got me. So, are we done yapping? Strip club, Steve. Titties in your face, Steve. Nipple, Steve. No, Ronald, you wanted me to let you know if the competition changes what they're doing. Don't tell me Burger King lowered their prices again. I don't understand how they can afford to stay in business. You know what? Those meth lamps, Steve. They got Walter White in there cooking or some shit. No, Ronald, it's not Burger King, it's KFC. They have meth lamps at KFC? No, they added a new menu item. Okay, why are you telling me this, Steve? They're a chicken restaurant. I sell burgers. Why don't you tell Popeyes, Zaxby's, Fusakli's? Like I said, they're a chicken restaurant. I sell chicken too, and it's delicious. But I sell burgers and fries and shit. Well, but they're also selling pizza now. Oh. Okay, why are you telling me this, Steve? Why don't you tell Papa John's? Or Pizza Hut? I don't sell pizza, Steve! What, you got dementia or something? I didn't do Asian. But you do sell pizza, Ronald. Where? At the biggest McDonald's in the world, in Orlando. You sell pizza. So you're telling me that KFC thinks that their pizza's better than mine? Well, they didn't say that. Well, they obviously stole my idea, so they think it. I'm the inventor of pizza, Steve. I made that shit. Papa John's calls me Daddy. I'm Daddy Ronald. Plus, all the restaurants know that if they want to release a new item, they gotta ask me first. They gotta be like, Daddy Ronald, is it okay if I... If I release a new restaurant item that you may have already made, uh, and I say, you did a good job sucking, boy. You may. Ronald, maybe they didn't know that you sold pizza. I mean, you didn't. Yes, I did, Steve. I, I, I was just testing to make sure you knew. I know that we sell spaghetti in Italy and, and shit. I bet you didn't know that. Well, look, I got you one of their pizzas so you can see it. Oh, good. Let's see this. This damn box. Presentation tour. What is this? Just fried chicken with mozzarella, red sauce, and pepperonis? That's chicken parmesan, Steve! Why didn't you go to Olive Garden? You know what? Let's try it. Ugh. Dear God. Steve. Dear God, Steve, it's delicious. It is? Oh, it's finger looking good, Steve. The Colonel knows what he's doing, Steve. He has a big cock, Steve. Uh, I'm freaking out, Steve. I think I'm having a panic attack, Steve. Just calm down, Ronald. You're right, Steve. We just gotta calm down. Cause you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go find the Colonel. Grab him oh. on his ball sack. His big old wrinkly ball sack. And I'm gonna say, hey, stop selling my shit and get off my cock. Oh. And then, we're going to take the recipe and sell it at McDonald's. And we're going to call it the McChicken Pizza Kanye West Meal, Steve. And we're going to be loaded, Steve. We're going to be rich as shit, Steve. I'm talking to 
titties in a bass deep. Ronald, I, I think you're overreacting. I'm pretty sure this is just a limited time thing. Oh, it's a limited time! And that time ends right now! <laughs> You are crying like a bitch. Did somebody order delivery? I have a delicious fried chicken pizza here. Well, I see you're enjoying one of my fine cheeses. I am. It is delicious. But I don't really like the name. I was thinking we could rebrand it to the McChicken Pizza Kanye West meal. Well, then it would sound like a McDonald's menu item. Exactly. I want to sell this shit. I see. Well, how about we continue this conversation in private right after I've murdered these fools? No, I think we're gonna have this conversation right now! Oh! Oh, God! It's huge! That's true, I am quite well endowed. It's like an anaconda! Ugh. Ugh. Even that finger looking good! You know what? We can have a conversation. Let's talk. Well, before we begin, can I interest you in a butter or biscuit? That's just drier than the Sahara Desert! You know We'll talk, let me grab something real quick. Die, old man! Die! Die! <laughs> That's right. Your delicious chicken pizza is mine. <sighs> Who's the king of pizza now? Oh, yeah! You guys gotta try this shit. My new menu item, the McChicken Pizza Kanye West meal. Tell all your friends, cause this shit comes out tomorrow. I gotta go call Kanye West. Well look, Dougie, you finally get to try the, the KFC chicken pizza. Ooh. <laughs> Dougie, somehow you still got your way. And that time ends right now! Those bottles never they break. I threw it so hard that time. That bottle never breaks. <laughs> you were trying, man. I threw it so hard that it hurt my elbow. Jeffy, I swear if that hits me. What are you gonna do? I'll rip up your dumb toy. Okay. Mommy, can you throw that back to me? Here you go. Well, don't, don't give it back to him. Ugh. It's good! Well, that's just rude. Jeffy, you're grounded. Why? Because you hit me with the stupid toy and then... <sighs> Let me answer the door. Hello? Hey, Marvin. <laughs> Why do you have a cat? This is my $5 million cat, Mrs. Bigglesworth. Why is it $5 million? Because it's a Himalayan Yeti long hair. A Yeti and a cat banged, and this popped out, and I bought it for $5 million. Well, why'd you bring it here? Because I need you to watch her for me, Marvin. Every time I watch your animal, something bad happens. Oh, come on, Marvin. I have this wicked hot girl coming over, but she's allergic to cats. And I don't want her sneezing on me. Ew. So I just need you to watch her for 10 minutes. Why only 10 minutes? Because I don't last long. Plus, the post-nut clarity's gonna kick in, and I'm gonna I want her to leave. Actually, it's gonna be nine minutes because my pants are already down. <sighs> okay, fine. Give me the damn cat. All right, thanks, Marvin. <sighs> Marvin, why do you have a cat? Goodman wants me to watch it for ten minutes. Oh no, something bad always happens. Not if we watch it for ten minutes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Get, 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 get the cat! Get the cat! Oh, no, no, no! Get, get, get. Oh, darn it! She what do went, we do now, Marvin? She went under the table, kitty. Oh no! Oh, let, let me try to get like a, a toy to get her out. Kitty, kitty, kitty! All right, baby, I got this, like, mouse toy. Okay, and I got this spider on a string toy. All right, let's try to get her out. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty. Kitty, 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 you want Come the toy? Here. Come on, kitty. Let me see what she's doing. Uh, yep, she is under there, and she is not trying to come out. Oh, no, what do we do? Ooh, let's call a cat whisperer. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, somebody call a cat whisperer. Yeah, so there's a cat stuck in the... Shh, quiet. We have to whisper. We don't want the cat to hear us. Do you speak shh, cat? Shh, shut the fuck up. Just whisper. Okay, I'm a cat whisperer. Okay, what's going on? So, I'm supposed to watch this cat for like 10 minutes. Well, actually like 9 minutes. And so, the cat got stuck under the table. I need you to grab it. Oh, that's it? That's all you need? Yeah, I need you to grab the cat. Well, we don't have to whisper for that. Usually people just want me to talk to their cat and figure out its felines. Feelings? Felines? Yeah. Well, people usually just want me to, like, talk to their cat and figure out its favorite color or its favorite food or something. I mean, it's all a scam. I can't talk to cats any more than you can, but that's what I do. I scam people. Well, can you get the cat from under the table? Oh, yeah, that's easy. I got the perfect thing right here. Got some catnip. One smell of this and it'll come running. And it'll get high out of its goddamn mind. Okay, well, let's use the catnip. Hey, man. You wanna like this shit? Huh? You wanna like this fucking shit, bro? Huh? Oh, man. <laughs> I am zooted right now. 
I'm not even me. I am a different puppet completely. <laughs> this shit is so purple it should be asking where's Ronald. This is that shit that killed Tupac. <laughs> oh, bro, 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 bro. Peep, peep, Jeffy. Look, look. <laughs> he is cooked, my guy. He is looking into the eyes of eternity right now. Dude is smelling shapes. <laughs> he, is, he is talking to God. Motherfucker's over there at Avatar 3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Hey. Hey, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. I forget. Well, why am I even here, man? My cat. Oh yeah! <laughs> kitty kitty! Fuck him! Oh man. Hey, 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 you know igloos? You know igloos? How, how does that even work? You know? Like, because they're made of snow and ice, but they're round and ice is slippery. They should, they should just fall over. How does that even... How's that? Oh! Oh, bro! Bro, 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 bro! I got, oh, this is gonna be so cool. Bro, how about we get some ice from your fridge and we make an igloo? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Okay, okay, okay. I got I got the ice. Here comes the igloo. I'm gonna build an igloo. I'm gonna live in it. <laughs> With my little penguin family. Wait. These are not, hey, these are not stacking. This is, this is impossible. The world lied. Igloos are impossible. They use bricks. They they use bricks and they paint them white. That's what they do. Oh. That was a good nap. Wait, why is there a plate of water here? Oh yeah, igloos. Baby, baby, baby. Goodman can be here any minute. We have to get the cat out. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the I got the nip right here. Um, you want to go one more time? No, we have to get the cat. Okay, lame. Okay, Marvin, where's this cat? Underneath the table. Let me take a look. Go oh, look at the geeky. Your oh, geekies. Okay, yeah, it's under there. Let me try the catnip. Hey, hey, you want some catnip? Some pretty dank nip, huh? Take the nip. Take the catnip, you stupid cat. Ugh. Maybe we should light some up just to show the cat it's good. No, we have to hurry up and get the cat out. Okay, yeah, I got something else. I got a laser pointer. Cats love laser pointers. Hey, you want the laser? Go get it. Go get it. It's not working. Okay, this is stupid. I'm just gonna go in there. It's a cat. I can grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Oh, oh God! Oh, get off my face! Oh, oh God, it's distracting me! Oh, are you okay? No, Marvin, you should do something! Oh, oh, get off! What am I supposed to do? I don't know! Oh, oh, God, it hurts! It hurts! Oh, 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 God, it scratched my face! Oh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! It bit my ear and it scratched my eye! God damn it, I hate cats! Well, uh, but you're a cat whisperer. No, no, I'm a dog person! God, I hate cats! I wish they'd all die! I hope you die, cat! You hear me? Uh, okay, alright. I'm getting that cat out of there. This is personal now! Alright, I'm going in. Well, what is that? It's a lightsaber. What do you think it is? Get out of here, stupid cat! I have the high ground! Oh, well, stop it! Stop it! Stop, stop it! What? Well, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the cat out of there. It's a Sith. That's inhumane! Yeah, well, it's inhumane what it did to my face. Don't use a lightsaber. Yeah, you're right. It's not the Jedi way. Master Yoda would be pissed. Anyway, I have a better idea. I can use this hammer and maybe try to scare it out with loud noises. Get out of here, stupid cat! Stupid idiot cat! Get you know what? Get out of here! Get out of here! No, 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 stop it! Use, use other things other than weapons. Okay, fine. I will get it out humanely. All right, I got this dog. His name is Killer. How is that dog gonna help get the cat out? Like this. Sick him! Get him! Tear him apart! Fuck him up! Rip his head off! Humanely? Yeah, humanely rip his head off! I can't get the dog out! Listen, I want the cat alive, not- I don't want you to kill it! Killer's not gonna kill anybody. Well, okay, maybe he will. His name is Killer. I need the- I need the cat in one piece. Uh, really? Oh, God, you're not making this easy for me. You can't get the cat out? Hey, do you want to try? You saw what it did to me! Well, listen, can you do your job or not? Yes, I can. Okay, but you're sure you need him alive? I need him alive! Okay, okay, I got it. All right, I got this. What is that? This is my police issue taser. A taser? I said don't kill the cat! I'm not gonna kill the cat. I'm just gonna electrocute it with 100,000 volts. And that's not gonna kill it? No, look, it's just gonna knock the cat out so I can drag it out from under the table and then it'll wake up wherever you want it to. And you promise it's not gonna hurt the cat? No, I don't know. Who cares? Look, I electrocute bad guys with it all the time and they're fine. They still do bad things, so it can't be that bad. Okay, I'm going in. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, you little bastard. Yeah, take that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I'm doing it. Here you go. Yeah, just bite down on it. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Okay, what the hell is that cat?
that made of? I tasted it three times and it didn't go down. Uh, it's part Yeti. What? Part Yeti? You didn't tell me that. I didn't think that was important. What? Not important? Of course it's important. I need fire. What, fire? Yeah, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I just got back from the fireworks store. Fireworks store? Yeah, I figured I could use some fireworks to scare the cat out because they're loud. Like, see, I got this bottle rocket. That could work. And then, oh, check this out. This is pretty badass. It's a pinball machine that explodes. I mean, I don't know how that'll help with the cat, but I thought it was pretty cool. And then I thought maybe I could throw one of these bombs under there and try to scare the cat out. Is that going to hurt the cat? No, no. But it's probably just going to make, like, a little flash of light. That's all. Well, it's not going to have, like, fire? No, I mean, not much. No, I, I think the cat will be fine. It'll probably run out before it even explodes. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to light this. All right. And then I'm going to just toss that under there. Oh, uh, is the cat okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure the cat's fine. Uh, let, me, let me just take a look. Ooh, oh, um, hmm. Uh, did, ah, oh, whew, that's, that's, um. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not good. Well, is the cat okay or not? Uh, well, remember when you said you needed the cat in one piece? Yeah. Well, there are several pieces. What, several pieces? Is the cat dead? No, no, it's not dead yet. I mean, it's close. Well, no, fix it, fix it, fix it. Okay, look, it'll, it'll be fine, okay? I'll, I'll just take it to the vet and see if I can put it back together. You're the vet. Yeah, I know, I'll just take it to my office. Look, it'll be fine. Just, just go sit on the couch. Uh, okay. Ugh. Okay, nurse, we're gonna do surgery. What do we got, doctor? The uh, cat. It was in a fireworks accident. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, I have no idea. I, I wasn't there. But, you know, I heard the cat was a real asshole, so, like, no big deal if it doesn't pull through. Uh, I'm gonna still do my best to try to put this together. Okay, needle and thread. Thank you. Uh, Alright, let's get to sewing. All right, nurse, cut. All right, it's all sewed up. It looks stunning, doctor. Yeah, I just hope it's my size. I don't know if I got the measurements right. You're gonna look great. Yeah, I just didn't want that cat to go to waste. Waste not, want not. All right. Marvin, do you think the cat's okay? It better be okay. That was a $5 million cat. What? Yeah, it was Goodman's valuable cat. Marvin, I hate when Goodman leaves his expensive things here for us to watch. Me too. I also hate it when Brun guy leaves his catnip around Jeffy because he got into it again. Hey there. <gasps> Is the cat okay? Uh, no. It died during surgery. It died? Yeah, I'm sorry. On a related note, how you like my coat? That is a really nice coat. It's very white. Go ahead and feel it. Oh man, that is a soft coat. Oh, I know. Feels just like the cat. Yeah, because it is. What? The coat is the cat. You killed the cat and made a coat? No, the cat died during surgery and I made a coat out of it afterward. I Cruella deville the shit out of that cat. And I'm starting to see why she wanted 101 of those Dalmatians. That's sick! Thank you, I think the coat is pretty sick. No, as in you're sick in the head! No, it only would have been sick if I killed the cat to make the coat. I killed the cat out of anger and then made the coat after it was already dead. That's wrong! What, you want all that fur to go to waste and cremate it? No, this is much better. I'm gonna be warm in the winter and hot in the summer. Damn. Oh my god, Goodman's gonna kill me. Who's that? The owner of the cat. Oh, well I did him a favor because that cat was one mean, mean lima bean. Oh no, that's probably Goodman. I don't want to answer the door. I'll answer it. Anything to show off my new coat. Hello? Hey Marvin, here's the hundred thousand dollars I was gonna give you for watching my cat. Wait, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm not Marvin. Marvin's upstairs. Oh, okay. But damn, I love your coat. Oh, thank you. I made it myself. Yeah, I'll give you $100,000 for your coat. Damn, okay. Yeah, sure. Great. Hey, Marvin. Oh, hey, Goodman. I was going to pay you $100,000 for watching my cat, but the guy who answered your door was wearing this amazing coat, and I thought it would look stunning on you. So instead of giving you $100,000, I bought this coat for you. Y you bought this coat? I sure did. Now, all you got to do is just give me my cat back, and I'll be on my way. Uh... No, Marvin, this coat's for you. Just give me my cat back and you can keep the coat. Yeah... I don't understand why you're doing this, Marvin. I just want my cat back, so just give me the cat back and stop playing these games. I gave you your cat back. Your, that, that's your cat. Your cat's the coat. What the fu- Want. You have a package from your Aunt Ernestine. Who's that? She was your aunt, Jeffy, and she died two days ago. Shit. While shipping you this package. Jeez. And it's been outside for two days, so you should open it. All right, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
She got me a puppy? But he's been outside for two days with no water in a hot box. Marvin, we need to call a vet. I'll go get the vet. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, we really need your help. Wait, what's with that button? Oh, the gay pride button? Yeah, if I wear this and the hospital thinks I'm gay and they don't make me do male physicals because they think I'm gonna like it too much, which is fine because I don't like touching balls. And I get to be a gynecologist and not wear any gloves and then afterwards I can suck my fingers like I got done eating baby back ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back chilies, baby back ribs barbecue sauce. Anyway, what do you need? So his Aunt Ernestine died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but if she's already dead, I can't help her. Oh, no, we need a vet. Why do you need a vet for his dead aunt? No, I need a vet for this dog. Why did you mention Aunt Ernestine? It's part of the story. Well, skip the story and tell me about the dog. Okay, so this dog was shipped here two days ago in that box, and that box is outside in the hot sun. You left your package outside for two days? Well, no, it was in Jeffy's name, so we didn't know if we could open it or not. Well, did you give the dog any water? We didn't know if we could give him water. Well, of course you can give a dog water, and you should feed it, too. Baby, write that down. Okay, I got it. It's a Miracle, this dog's even still alive. If, if it survives, you should name it Miracle. Well, I was gonna name it Win Dixie. Why would you name it Win Dixie? You didn't find it in a Win Dixie. That doesn't make sense. He looks like a Win Dixie. He doesn't look anything like the dog in that movie. Well, I'm still naming him Win Dixie. All right, it's your dog, but just give Win Dixie some water. All right, Jeffy, we don't have any water here, so take him to the gas station and give him water. Okay, come on, Win Dixie. So then I tell the guy, fine, I will take my business elsewhere. Holy shit, Giovanni, look, PT Cruiser 2007. Oh my god, you're right, it's a PT Cruiser 2007. I tell you all the time, I always want PT Cruiser 2007. Ask him if he'll sell it to you. Oh, great idea. <sighs> Nice car. Thanks. PT Cruiser, 2007. How much? She's not for sale. <laughs> oh, cute dog. I love dogs. Utsusuyaka Metsuka. Niet yet to saku. What? What did that little shit say to me? Hey, 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 hey. Sorry about my friend. You have a nice day, sir. You too. All right, Danny. I just got Win Dixie some water. All right, drink the water. Drink the water! Jeffy, you need to put it in a bowl. No, he can learn to drink out of his straw or he'll have nothing at all. Good boy. All right, Jeffy, me and Mommy are going to go watch a movie tonight. Are you going to be safe home alone? Yeah, I think me and Winn-Dixie are just going to go to bed. All right, good night, Jeffy. Come on, baby, let's go to the movies. All right, come on, Winn-Dixie. All right, Winn-Dixie, it's time to go to bed. But first... <laughs> What's wrong, Winn-Dixie? You couldn't possibly want the bone that I chew on every night before bed. <laughs> you do? <laughs> All right, well, go get it. Ha 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 ha! Why does it do that? <laughs> All right, Winn-Dixie. Good night. <laughs> Look, brother, the PT Cruiser 2007 from the jerk off at the gas station. He wouldn't sell it to you. I say we take it. With pleasure. You ready? Let's go teach that mother heifer a lesson. That PT Cruiser 2007 is mine. All yours. Soon you will be mine, my baby. Brother, we're going to have to break in by busting the door down. Why not just open door with door code? What do you think the code is? What year is PT Cruiser? 2007. Oh, well, it was 2007. All right, we're in. Time to find keys to PT Cruiser 2007 and get out. But bro, it could be anywhere in here. Well, we better start looking. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Keys are not under the table. Keys are not under chair either. Oh look brother, it's cute dog from gas station. Little dog, where are keys to PT Cruiser? What do you mean what year? 2007 obviously is best year. Brother, kill this mutt. Okay. Brother, he falls one more time. Win Good, that stupid mutt is dead. Win Dixie! Stupid brain! Okay. Where is PT Cruiser key? Yeah, where is it? Tell us if you want to live! I already killed stupid book! Oh, bro, look over there! I'm Dirac! Holy shit! Key to PT Cruiser 2007! Let's get out of here! Does we don't you bitch! Look, brother, we did it! PT Cruiser 2007! His dream come true! And it drives better than I thought it would! Let's take it back to shop. Duh. Marvin, I can't believe 
believe you made me watch a movie about a bomb. I thought Oppenheimer was going to be the sequel to Pinocchio. What? Oh my god, Jeffy! <gasps> Jeffy, are you okay? Oh my god, Marvin, someone beat him up! And someone killed his dog! Marvin, call the doctor! Call the cops! Call somebody! Okay! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, someone beat up our son. Wait, more buttons? Oh yeah. See, I found out June is Gay Pride Month, and if you're gay, you get that month off, and I really want June off next year. So I told Henry in HR that I was gay, but he didn't believe me, so then I kissed Julio the janitor in front of him to prove it, but then he caught me brushing my teeth and throwing up immediately after, so I decided to wear all these pins to hopefully convince Henry I like knob. Anyway, what's going on with you guys? The dog is dead! I told you to give it water! No, someone beat him to death! Oh, I didn't know you guys were friends with Michael Vick. Hey, can you get me his autograph? What? No, no, like someone ran to beat him up, and someone beat up Jeffy too! Oh, wow. Wow, what happened? They killed my dog and stole my car. Huh, that reminds me of the time somebody killed my dog and stole my car. Wait, that happened? Oh yeah, let me tell you about it. So back in the day, I had a wife and then she died. It's not really clear how she died. Like, I guess she had cancer or something. I'm not really sure. But what matters is that she died. And then after she died, she gave me a puppy. N not like she came back as a zombie or a ghost and gave me a puppy. She just, like, had it delivered after she died. I'm not really sure how she arranged that. But what matters is that I had this dog, okay? So then I go to the gas station in my 1969 Mustang, and it's a really nice car. And then these two Russian gangsters there and they tell me how much they like my car and they want to buy it from me and I tell them it's not for sale because I like it too much and that pisses them off. So later they come over to my house and they beat me up and they kill my dog and they steal my car and now I'm really pissed off. And what they don't know is that I'm a legendary hitman and nobody's supposed to mess with me. So I want revenge. Also I'm friends with the Green Goblin. Like he's not literally the Green Goblin. He's the actor that played the Green Goblin, Willem Dafoe. But the whole time you're watching it you're like, mm, that's the Green Goblin. So I get revenge on these guys, right? And I shoot a bunch of people and I kill all of them and I get a new dog. And then my daughter calls me and she's on vacation in France with her friends and we're talking on the phone and she's telling me how it's going and then she gets kidnapped while she's on the phone with me. And then I get on the phone with the kidnapper and I tell him how scary I am and how I'm gonna track him down and he doesn't really seem to care. So then I fly over to France and then I kill him and find my daughter. And then on the flight home I find out that my plane is full of snakes and I have had it. I am sick and tired of these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. And then I'm a fish working at the whale wash and I want to be famous and I also owe a bunch of money to this puffer fish and his jellyfish henchmen, so I decide to pretend that I killed a shark, and then everybody loves me, and they think I can protect them from sharks, and then real sharks show up, and then after that, I fell asleep, so I don't really know what happens. Also, I was voiced by Will Smith. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, none of that actually happened to me. Those were all movies I saw recently. But still, you should get revenge, Jeffy, because what they did was messed up. You're right. I'm gonna kill them all. Be careful, Jeffy! Oh, and then I was a little red crab and my friend was a mermaid who wanted to be able to walk. Hey, boss, you like? Whoa, is this a 2007 PT Cruiser? Sure is, PT Cruiser 2007 Classic. Wait, where'd you get this car from? Some jerk off at gas station. I killed his dog. Ha! Wait, did his face look like this? Yeah, pretty much. You idiot. You killed Jeffy Wick's dog and you stole his car? Uh, what's big deal? What's big deal? I'll tell you what big deal is. Jeffy Wick is the most gruesome hitman in the world. He once killed a man with a pencil in his nose. No, I'm not scared. Well, you should be. Okay, I'm a little more scared now. I'm going to call my dad. Come on, father, pick up cellular device. Hello, son. Hello, daddy. How is your day going? Well, people keep telling me I screw up. What did you do this time? I steal Jeffy Wick's car and kill his dog. You did what? I do bad. Yes, you did very bad. I in trouble. Yes, you in very big trouble. You go and give me spanking. No, I don't give you spanking. Jeffy Wick give you spanking. With gun. No, I beat shit out of Jeffy Wick. He put no, he's going to kill you. Not if I kill him first. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have baseball bat. Brother, come, we go and kill Jeffy Wick. Hey. <laughs> Jeffy Wick, what are you doing here? That's my car. I, I know it is, and you can have it back. I didn't send anybody to steal it. They just didn't know any better. Will you tell them that I'm coming for them, and I will kill them? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will. I got one question for you. Who's shitting my diaper? Uh, I don't know, you? Correct. <sighs> I swore I'd never kill again, but now I have to whip out my big fucking goofy purple Fortnite pistol to kill those two guys who killed my dog. But I have to go to sleep first, because I haven't gotten a full night's rest. <sighs> no more Mr. Nice Guy. 
Jiffy Week, come out to play! Huh? Huh? They're here, time to die. He's upstairs. You want to go first since you have gone? Sure. Where are you, Jiffy? Holy shit, you killed my brother! Screw this bit! Hey, I don't miss. <laughs> Alright, I am safe here. Where are you, you Russian piece of shit? Right here, you American piece of shit! Oh no, I'm out of ammo. What am I to do? <laughs> I need somewhere to hide. In here! Don't look in here, I'm just coffee cup! Shit! You ready to die? Oh, come on, man! It was just a stupid dog! Alright, Daddy, I got my revenge. I'm glad, Jeffy. Now, can you take that ridiculous wig off? No, because I still got three more sequels to make. You killed my son, you bastard! This bell. No. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm tired of crapping my pants and sitting in it all day. <gasps> so you're gonna start using the bathroom? Well, hold on, Daddy. I got an even better idea. So every time I ring this bell, that's gonna let you guys know that I took a huge crap in my pants and I need one of you to change me. Jeffy, you're 18 years old. Hush! I'm talking. Every time I ring this bell, it's going to signal to you guys that a huge heaping pile of Jeffy dung has exited my turd tunnel into my shorts. So let me paint the picture for you, Daddy. I'm not wearing any underwear. I'm only wearing denim shorts and a diaper. So when I ring this bell, that means a big pile of Jeffy fecal has pushed through my denim shorts into my diaper and one of you needs to change me. We're not going to change you, Jeffy. You're an adult. Uh oh, you know what that means? They're shit. Change me. I will now pat and smear. Mommy, is this what a pat smear is? Oh, fuck yeah. Jeffy, cut it out! Jeffy, no, we're not changing you. You're an adult. You're going to sit in it all day until you learn to change yourself. Look, we're just going to watch TV. Boss, boss, boss. Oh, hey there. Do you like Honey Nut Cheerios? Well, in one lucky box of Honey Nut Cheerios, you could possibly find a pair of Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. So go out there and buy all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Boss, 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 boss. Daddy! You see those shoes? I need those shoes! I need you to take me to the store right now so we can buy all your boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios! Okay, Jeffy, listen. Whenever we go to the store, I'll buy you one box of Honey Nut Cheerios and see if you win. One box? Only one box? I need all the boxes right now to make sure I get those shoes! Jeffy, listen, we don't have the money to buy all those boxes of cereal. Well, what about the credit card? I'm not going to run up my credit card buying a bunch of boxes of cereals on the chance you might win some shoes. Ah! You're ruining my life! Marvin, why don't you take him to the store and get him a box? Because, baby, he doesn't want one box. He wants all the boxes. And also, this sounds like a scam just to get you people to buy more cereal. I bet you those shoes don't even exist. Oh, Daddy has left his wallet by the front door. Father has royally effed up. Wow, you must really like Honey Nut Cheerios. I'm looking for shoes. Okay, well, th this isn't the shoe aisle. Um, I, I, I hope you're planning on buying all these. I am. Okay. okay. Um. All right, I spent two thousand dollars on Cheerios. Those shoes have to be in here. No. Jeffy, have you seen my wallet? Jeffy! Where are 
are you at, Jimmy? Mm -hmm. Jimmy? Wait, Jimmy? Booga, 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 booga! Jimmy, what are you doing? They're not here, Danny! The shoes are not here! What shoes? The Honey Nut Cheerio shoes! What? But Jimmy, where did you get all these Cheerios from? I took your credit card and I went to the store and I bought all the boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios that they had. You are so credit! Hey! How much was this? Two thousand dollars. And you're telling me the shoes aren't in here? No, I was uh, I was upset too, Daddy. You'd think for that amount of money that the shoes would be in here and they're not! I can't believe you did this, Jimmy. I cannot believe you. I mean, this is the lowest thing you've ever done. Let's go talk to your mother. Your mother has to hear this. Come on. Yes, sir. Baby! What's wrong, Marvin? Oh, Jeffy, you tell her because I can't even think of the words. Mommy, I am a shithead. <gasps> Jeffy, don't say that. Marvin! No, it's true. Jeffy, tell her. Just tell her. Oh, yeah, Mommy. I'm sure you'll agree. What I did was is I took Daddy's credit card and spent $2,000 on Honey Nut Cheerios. Jeffy! But did you get the shoes? No, don't beat me to the funny part. No, I didn't. But what I did do was is I dumped all the Honey Nut Cheerios on the table and then I hid in the big pile of them. And then when Daddy walked by, I tried to scare him by going ooga booga. Aw, you were playing peekaboo? Yeah, except for when I went boo at Daddy, he didn't peek us so good. Oh, listen, that's not the point of the thing. Listen, baby, he spent $2,000 on my credit card on cereal to get shoes that he didn't even get. And also, not to mention the big pile of Cheerios on the table downstairs. I'm talking the biggest mess you'll ever see. I'm sure there's not that many Cheerios, Marvin. Oh, there's so many. Just think of the biggest pile of Cheerios you could ever think and double it twice in your head. That's how big it is. Yeah, it's pretty big, Mommy. I'm actually pretty proud of it. You want to see it? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> see, baby? Baby, look! Oh my god! Get to eating, mommy. My cholesterol is about to be lower than my syndrome. <laughs> what? Jeffy, you're not even eating them! You're just throwing them all over the place! Well, it's not my fault my hand mouth coordination is off! Listen, stop it! We're going back upstairs. Come on, no more eating cereal. Oh man, Jeffy, I just can't believe you. Danny, I don't think you understand the real problem here. I still don't have the shoes. Do you want me to go to another store and see if I can get some more Cheerios? No, Jeffy, you're not buying any more Cheerios. I canceled my credit card, so you can't buy any more, okay? Well, how am I supposed to get the shoes? Jeffy, the shoes do not exist. They don't exist? Well, what about the commercial? The commercial's lying. It's a scam, Jeffy. It's a, it's a scam from the cereal company to get people to go out and buy cereal to hopefully get shoes that don't exist. So just go to bed and think about all the stupid things you did today. Ah, uh, my life sucks. I guess I'll go to bed without the shoes. Here I go, off to bed, not happy because I don't have the shoes. <sighs> Look at me at school, sad because I hate my life. <laughs> yes, that's good. Seeing other people sad makes me happy. Oh. oh my god, PJ, your new shoes are so cool! Yeah, I know. They're so hot! Where did you get them? I was just eating Honey Nut Cheerios and they were just right there in the cereal box. You're so lucky, PJ. Yeah, not everyone can have Honey Nut Cheerio shoes. Huh? He has the shoes? He has the shoes? You got the new Cheerio shoes? Where did you get them from? Back off. Give PJ some space. Yeah. Now, ladies, ladies, let the man admire the shoes. Go ahead, look. Where did you get the Cheerio shoes from? I found them in a cereal box. Well, no, Dick. I bought so many boxes of Cheerios and it didn't have the shoes in it. How many boxes did you open to get the shoes? I got these on the first try. That's ridiculous. I want those shoes. What can I do to get the shoes? PJ's not going to give you his shoes. Yeah. Okay, ladies, stop trying to speak for PJ because it's starting to piss him off. And then the P and PJ is going to stand for Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw, and you do not want to see Pissed Off Jammies Crenshaw. Okay, sorry, PJ. Okay, so you want my shoes, right? Yes. What can I do to get the shoes? Well, you can't buy shoes like these, so you're going to have to trade me for them. Okay, what do you want? Well... You smell like shit. Well, that's because I crapped my pants the other day and my daddy didn't change me for 18 hours. Okay, well, I like your helmet. Okay. PJ, don't change your shoes for his helmet. Okay, you're done. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You're done too. <laughs> can't find good women. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, I want your helmet. Okay, you can have it. Yeah, it'll look great with my PJs, and it'll protect my head when I'm using my tech decks, because I don't want to hurt myself. Okay, deal. 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 Deal or no deal. Deal. Bam, Daddy peeped these hoes. Jeffy, you got the shoes. Sure did, Mommy, and I'm feeling like a pimp. Jeffy, how much did those shoes cost you? Actually, Daddy, it didn't cost me anything. All I did was trade my helmet. 
Peep the No Helmet and the Wicked Do. Jeffy, you need your helmet. Helmet Schmelmet. You know who needs a helmet? Mike Snicker Pippets. Who's Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know, but he might need a helmet. Did you give your helmet to Mike Snicker Pippets? I don't know. Ask Mike Snicker Pippets. I don't know Mike Snicker Pippets. Well, he might need a helmet. I don't have time for these games, Jeffy. I'm still $2,000 in credit card debt because you bought a bunch of cereal and opened it and poured it on the table downstairs. Well, Daddy, you can always return the cereal. I cannot return open cereal, Jeffy. Sure you can, Daddy. If you don't like it, you can return it. Marvin, they might give you in-store credit. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll call the store. Where'd you buy that? Target. Okay, I'll, I'll call Target and see if they'll give me store credit or, or something. Jeffy, they're so cute. Look, the little Cheerios, and it has a little bee on Hold on, Mommy. Back off. Don't touch them. I don't want your germs on them. Okay, I just called Target, and they said they're going to send an employee here to see if they can return all those items we bought. Oh, that must be them. Hello? Hey, it's Brooklyn guy from Target. Not Alex from Target. He was on Ellen. I don't know what the fuck that was about. It's not really fair to everybody else who works at Target that he gets to be on TV just because he's hot. I wonder what he's doing these days. Hopefully not still working at Target. Although, working at Target kind of worked out for him because he got to be on TV, so who knows. Anyway, you called me because you wanted to return something? I mean, we don't usually show up to your house like this, but to be honest, I was kind of curious. Well, my son bought a bunch of boxes of cereal and I wanted to- Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, he just cleaned out all the Honey Nut Cheerios. Then like a bunch of 80-year-olds came in after, they were like, Where are all the Honey Nut Cheerios? And I had to explain that a kid bought them and they were all pretty angry. Well, I would like to return the cereal. Oh, yeah, that's no problem, as long as it's not open. It, is it open? Uh, maybe a few boxes. Well, you can return the ones that aren't open. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, here they are. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are the ones that haven't been opened? Um, I think they've all been opened. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, you can't return these. Well, why not? What do you mean, why not? I can't just put these back in the box and then feed them to people. Well, look, the ones on the top haven't touched the table. Look, the, these down here are bad, but these are all good. We can put these back in the box. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Well, can you at least give me store credit? Come on. Well, see, the problem with that is that I don't know how I'm going to explain to my boss why I'm giving you $2,000 in store credit just because you bought a bunch of Cheerios, dumped them on a table, and then didn't eat them. Listen, my son was just looking for those, like, Cheerio shoes. <gasps> Did he find them? No. Oh, that's a shame. Man, those things are going for $10,000. Did, 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 did you say $10,000 for those shoes? Yeah, 10,000 smackaroonies. Well, um, who, who would pay that for those? I mean, I would. I really want those. I mean, I know I don't have feet, but I still think it'd be pretty cool. Okay, uh, well, my son actually did find them. Okay, you literally just told me you didn't have them. Because I didn't know how you'd react if I told you he had them. What? It's not a Powerball ticket, they're shoes. I just happen to want them. Oh, okay, listen, listen, so my son has them, so you'll give me $10,000 if, if I show you the shoes. Show me the shoes to prove that you have them, because this, this whole thing is very weird. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, here's the Cheerio shoe. Those are not the Cheerio shoes. Jeffy, what happened to your Cheerio shoes? I traded them back to Mike Snicker Pippets for my helmet because I missed it. I'm sorry, Mike who? Snicker Pippets. Jeffy, be serious. This nice man right here was going to give us $10,000 for those Cheerio shoes. Well, he can go buy them from my Mike Snicker Pippets. Okay, I'm sorry, who is Mike Snicker Pippets? He's a guy in my class and he wears pajamas and sunglasses inside. Okay, that sounds like a lie. Well, it's not, he's real and he's inside. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? Mike Snicker Pippets. Mike Snicker Pippets, who? Mike Snicker Pippets, let me in. It's cold out here. Jeez. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh, no, no, no. What about the cereal? Y you, you keep it. Oh, no, the $10,000! Jimmy! Why'd you do this to me, Jimmy? Well, Daddy, let me tell you something. report card. Are there any F's on your report card? Um, no. Are you lying? No, there's no F's on it. Because, Jeffy, if there's a single F on that report card, we're not taking you to Disney World. All right, well, check this out. Boom. Not a single F on this report card. All D's, Daddy. It stands for Disneyland, 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 Disneyland. Jeffy, all D's is not good. Yeah, but it's still passing, Marvin. There are no F's on his report card. But D's are bad. D's are passing. And D's are my nuts in your mouth. Ugh, how old are you? Old enough to have my nuts in your mouth. <sighs> good one, Daddy. Right, Jeffy, look. I guess if there's no F's, we'll still take you to Disney World. <gasps> really, Daddy? I'm gonna go pack my stuff right now! But you have to get better grades next time! Marvin, I don't think we have enough money for all three of us to go. You're right. We're really poor right now. I think we can buy two tickets. Okay, I think you and Jeffy should go so you can have a father-son trip. I guess you're right. Me and Jeffy haven't spent a lot of time together. 
I'll go buy two tickets to Disney World. Okay. All right, baby. I got me and Jeffy two tickets to Disney World. Aw, you and Jeffy are gonna have so much fun. Yeah, I hope so. Jeffy, are you ready to go? Yeah, dang. Sure I am. Jeffy, what is that? Oh, it's Tomator without the tub. No, not Tomator. It's a mask. What are you wearing? Oh, it's the piglet mask I found in your closet. Marvin! What? Where did you get that? I've never seen that mask before in my life. Jeffy, take the piglet mask off. No, I want to wear Disneyland on all the rides. You can't wear that on the rides in Disneyland. You, you gotta take it off. But I gotta show Winnie the Pooh his best friend Piglet. He already knows his best friend Piglet. Look, you gotta take that mask off right now. No, Dad, I wanna wear the Piglet mask. Take it off, Jeffy. Look, you can you can take Tomato, you just can't take the mask. Oh, okay, Dad. Oink, oink. So, Marvin, are we going to talk about the piggy mask? We're not going to talk about the piggy mask. Okay. All right, Daddy. I'm ready to go in Disneyland. All right, Jeffy. Grab your ticket to Disney World and let's go. What? Grab your ticket to Disney World. Disney World? I didn't want to go to Disney World. I wanted to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland and Disney World are the same thing. No, they're not. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, they're basically the same place. Uh, no, you're not. Because Disney World is the world of Disney, and Disneyland is the land of Disney, and I've never been to Disneyland, so that's where I want to go. Jeffy, if you've been to Disney World, there's no reason to ever go to Disneyland. Disney World is bigger. It has Epcot and Hollywood Studios and everything. I don't care. I've already been to Disney World, and now I want to go to Disneyland. Jeffy, Disneyland land is all the way on the other side of the country in California. We live in Florida. Disney World is in Florida, so we need to go to Disney World. I don't care how far Disneyland is. I want to go there because I've never been there. Jeffy, I already bought tickets to Disney World. These tickets only work at Disney World, so we're going to Disney World. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me look real quick. They're only good at Disney World. I already read it. Well, right here, it says that it's good for Disneyland or Disney World. It doesn't say that. Yeah, it says it right here. It does not say that. It does, it does not say that. Oh, you want me to lie and say that the tickets are for Disney World, not Disney... Oh, mm -hmm. I've already heard you. You just don't want to take me to Disneyland because you think I'm ugly. Oh, no, Jeffy, you're precious. Oh, no, 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 no. Disney World doesn't think you're ugly. Disneyland thinks you're ugly, so we don't want to go to Disneyland. <laughs> if you don't take me to Disneyland, I'm going to get all F's of my report card and wear the piggy mask to school every day. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Okay, Jeff, 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 Jeff. Okay, we'll go to Disneyland. We're going to go to Disneyland. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to buy plane tickets. God, we have to fly to California. I'm afraid of flying, baby. Can you just go with them? Oh, no, Marvin. I have a bunch of appointments. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm going to buy the plane tickets. Let's just go to the airport, Jeffrey. We're going to Disneyland. Yay! Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny. What, Jeffy? What do you want? Good. Come good out the window. No, I'm not going to gook out the window. I'm afraid of heights. Hey, Mr. What doing? What, Jeffy, leave the passengers alone. <gasps> you have peanuts? Can I have some of your peanuts? No? Oh, man. Danny, can you give me some peanuts? The guy behind you said I had to get my own. I'll ask the flight attendant. Just shut up, Jeffy. Because if I could get some peanuts right now, that would be the bomb. Wait, Jeffy, you cannot say that. What? You can't say bomb. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? I got a complaint from another passenger that said that you were threatening the plane with a bomb. What? No, 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 no. My son said bomb, and I told him not to say bomb. See, you just said it again. What? No, 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 no. I was just saying what not to say. See, now you're saying it so much, I'm thinking maybe you got one up your butt and you want to use it. What? No! Hey, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down. No, 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 I am calm. I just don't like planes. Oh, you don't like planes, so you want to get rid of it. What? No, 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 no. I, I, I don't like flying. You don't like flying, so you want to force the plane down. Oh, no, 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 no. You're being ridiculous. Sir, if you don't calm down, I'm going to have to strap you to the seat. I am calm! All right, that was pretty rowdy. I'm going to have to strap you no, down. No, 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 stop, stop, stop that! This is ridiculous! All right, sir, when we land, we're going to untie you, and we're going to give you a cavity search. This is so stupid! Danny, how did you get an extra seat belt? Jeffy, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Come over here! I'll kill you! Breaking news, okay? A plane was forced to make an emergency landing after a man threatened the plane with a bomb. Marvin! Sit down there, you! Marvin, what is going on? Well, Jeffy had been- Quiet, I'll tell you what's going on. Your husband threatened to plane with a bomb. <laughs> stop it, stop it, Dick, let's get it out. Look, look, Jeffy wanted peanuts on the airplane. And Jeffy said if he got peanuts, it would be the bomb. And I said, Jeffy, don't say bomb. And then he heard me say bomb, and then he stuck his hand up my butt looking for a bomb. See, officer, it was just a mistake. No, 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 no. Nobody says bomb on a plane unless they have one. What if the person's flying to Bombay? What did you just say? Get down, let me check your butt again. I don't have a bomb in my butt. That's exactly what somebody with a bomb would say. Officer, what is going to happen? Happen. Well, your husband's on a no-fly list, which means he can never fly on a plane ever again. 
Well, I'm afraid of flying, so I don't care. So are we still going to Disneyland? Oh, uh, we're not going to Disneyland after this. <laughs> Oh, I hate crying people. Like whenever I arrest somebody and they're like, that's not mine, you just planted that in my car, I saw you. And it's like I had to plant it there because I had to meet my arrest quota, jeez. Anyway, I don't want to see you on a plane ever again, buddy. You hear that little man? Oh, stop, stop poking me. Boop. Well, don't, don't boot my nose. <sighs> so how are we going to get to Disneyland? Look, Jeffy, look, we, we can just drive Disneyland, but it's going to take like three days, so we'll leave tomorrow. Okay, good. All right. Marvin, I'm hungry. Can you take me somewhere nice? Well, baby, I just got put on a no-fly list. Do you think I want to go to a restaurant? Come on, somewhere nice. <sighs> I can see if we can get a reservation to Harryhausen's. Harryhausen's? But it's impossible to get a reservation! Not for Googly Bear. L let's go, baby. Okay, oh, can I come? Ha ha, please, please, please. What? No, you're not going to go with us. <sighs> you never take me anywhere. You're a dumb friend. <sighs> Marvin, how did you get us a reservation at Harryhausen's? I didn't. We're just sitting at a random table. Marvin, what if they kick us out? Baby, they're not going to kick us out. We're already sitting here. Excuse me, but unfortunately, we are closing in five minutes. Aww. Oh, no, no, baby, don't worry. Look, we already know what we want. Can we just order? <sighs> what can I get you? Baby, hurry up and look at the menu. Okay, let me see. Oh, Marvin, I can't see it from here. Just order uh, sushi and chocolate cake. Okay, uh, do you guys have sushi? <sighs> we are now closing in four minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I know we want, uh... Can we get the the dynamite roll? Okay. And then can I get the the chocolate cake? Chocolate cake, sir. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's right here. I don't believe we have a chocolate cake on the menu. Well, yes, 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 you do. It, it, it's right here. It says chocolate cake. Uh, read it. Oh, you must be referring to the chocolate smothered calamari. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. That's up here. We're talking about the chocolate cake under desserts. Mm. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I don't have my reading glasses. You'll have to read it for me. It says chocolate cake. Don't you know the menu? No, oh, I'm sorry. We change the menu every day. Marvin, just order the chocolate cake. <sighs> okay. Can I please get the the chocolate bomb cake? Bomb! Bomb! This man claims to have a bomb! Evacuate the building! What? No, no! It was a chocolate bomb cake! Freeze! You're under arrest! Wait, it's you again? Now you're threatening a restaurant with a bomb? What? Officer, it's just a misunderstanding! Yeah, I was just trying to order food off the menu. It says chocolate bomb cake. See, see, right there. Yeah, but the waiter said you also tried to order the dynamite roll. Why are you only ordering explosive menu items? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she wanted sushi, and the only sushi was the dynamite roll, and she wanted chocolate cake, and the only chocolate cake was the chocolate bomb cake. I was just trying to order the cake. But earlier, you threatened a plane with a bomb, so why did you think you should be ordering explosive menu items? You could have ordered literally anything else on the menu, like the like the Lady Baltimore cake, whatever the hell that is, or the, or the buttercorn pudding, huh? Why not that? Or the... Oh my god, look at these prices. Jesus Christ, I should be arresting the owners for robbery. Oh my god, wait, special shrimp stir fry? Oh, hold on, scoot over. I mean, I'm gonna arrest you, but I mean, a man's gotta eat. I'm hungry. Uh, what's in the special shrimp stir fry? Waiter, I need a waiter. Excuse me. Can an officer get some goddamn service over here? You know, protect and serve? Wait, wait a minute. Oh yeah, that's right, they evacuated the building because of the bomb. The bomb! That's right, you're under arrest. Now bend over so I can check your butt. No, 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 no. All right, that's it. You're not allowed outside anymore. You're under house arrest. House arrest? Why? Because you won't stop talking about bombs. You already threatened a restaurant and a plane. I can't trust you. This whole thing's a misunderstanding. And I'm getting real tired of sticking my hand up your butt. I'm gonna have to start wearing gloves because I'm getting tired of cleaning my fingernails. Well, I was just trying to order food at the restaurant. It's called Chocolate Bomb Key. That's what it was called. I mean, nose itches. Oh, God, your house stinks. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It's not your house. It's your ass. What? Ew. Oh, God. Wait, wash your hands! Wash your ass. What? It's gross. No, don't wipe it on me! Why? It's your stink. It's your ass. Ew, stop it! <sighs> Ugh, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. What can I do to stop all this? Well, if you could get a witness that could testify that you weren't really talking about a bomb, then I guess I could let you go. Well, my, my son Jeffy, he knows this whole thing started over peanuts. He knows I wasn't talking about bombs. Okay, well, if you can get him to tell me you weren't talking about bombs, then I'll leave you alone. Okay, let me go get my son. No, 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 no. I can't leave you alone with him. You might threaten him to make him say that. You're gonna have to bring him here. Okay, baby, can you send Jeffy a text? What do you want me to do? Send a text. Send text? Like the explosive? What? No, no, I said send a text. I heard send text. Can you send a text message to Jeffy and tell him to come here? Okay. You're, you're crazy. Like, you're going crazy. No, I think you're crazy. So I'm going to give you a psychological test, okay? Now, how many fingers am I holding up? Not my thumb. Not your thumb? Yeah, how many fingers do you see? I see four. See four? Like the bomb? I'm going to check your blood again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. 
Ew! Oh, oh man, would you like not wipe? What's going on? I don't expect someone to give me a cavity search. I'm not prepared. So you're just sitting like that? Doesn't it itch? Hey, no! Oh, hey, Jeffy, tell the officer. No, 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 no. Let me ask him. I don't want you like stringing him along or something. Okay, Jeffy, I have a few questions for you. So, like, do you guys not own toilet paper? What's going on here? What did I ask about the peanuts? Ah, the bombs, right. Okay, so, Jeffy, now, has your father ever said anything about hating planes? Yeah. Oh, really? I don't like planes. Shh, I'm afraid of flying. Shh, 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 shh. Now, Jeffy, do you think your father would like it if all the planes just exploded? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, no, I, I don't like planes. Like, I don't quiet, like flying. Quiet. Now, Jeffy, does your father have a lot of gasoline somewhere? Yeah, in his car. Oh, really? All cars have gas in them. Then why don't you get a Tesla? Well, because because they're expensive. Oh, really? All right, Jeffy, I have one more question for you. Now, is this whole thing actually just about you wanting peanuts? Yeah, because I wanted peanuts, and I asked my dad for some, and I said if I got some peanuts, it would be the bomb. Oh, the bomb, yes, like a good yes. thing. Yeah, yes, it's like a good thing, like, like oh, those are the bomb. Oh, well, don't I feel silly. Well, yeah, it was a big misunderstanding, so you understand it now? Yeah, okay, yeah, no, I understand, you're free to go. Well, I'm free to go! Wait a minute, unless he's in on it, and you actually do have something up your butt that I didn't find the first three times. Well, no, there's nothing up my butt. Okay, I'll make you a deal. Let me search your butt one more time, and if I don't find anything other than dingleberries, right. you're free to go. What? <laughs> No, there's nothing on my butt! Marvin, don't you want this to be over? Yeah, your ass is on the line. <sighs> okay, fine, do it one more time. Yes! All right, I didn't find anything, so you're free to go. And I went up to the elbow this time. Thank God it's over. Joe, why don't we leave it for Disneyland, Daddy? We're not going to Disneyland! Guess what, Simmons? You owe me a hundred bucks. No way, mate. Yep, that's right. You bet me that I couldn't get the same guy to let me give him a cavity search four times in one day, and I did it. So smell it and weep. Oh, God, here, take your hundred and leave. Oh. <laughs>